Well, happy Sunday fun day to you, chat. Hopefully, everything is going well for you. You're enjoying your weekend, or at least you were, until this uh, abomination of a stream starts starts picking up momentum, and we start looking at uh, what the furries have been up to, continuing off on where, where we last left off. Now, I wanted to do a couple of palate cleansers before we jump into the, the pure degeneracy of this fucked up fandom, and so uh, we'll, we'll take a look at a few things. Waste, uh, you know, 20 minutes, 25 minutes before we really get into it. But, um, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna go full bore, uh, look at the really disturbing shit today. Hear the conversations between the, uh, furries in the leak that happened with Kiro. And do a little follow-up on Ashley. Ashley the Fox King. Ashley, I'm gonna DMCA you, Jim, and teach you a lesson on the internet. You better behave, or Ashley's coming for you. Now... <laughs> I did a stream on the 3rd in response to a furry throwing a tantrum and threatening to strike my channel down for using clips of their video and mine. Even though it fell under fair use, there was commentary and critique provided. Um, didn't work out well for our little fox friend. Apparently, uh, their feelings are hurt, chat. So be, be tender-hearted. You are the sweetie squad. You need to be a shoulder to cry on for these people. And there's a lot of crying going on. From Ashley Zoe Fox, you guys win. You know who you are. You successfully ruined my life. I have bad anxiety and depression, and you made my only support circle of friends not want to be around me. Thank you for ruining my life. I'm going dark now. I hope all of you trolls are happy. I don't know, chat. Are you happy? Could I get a? Could you? Could you press one for yes? You're happy. Could we get a? Could we get a one for yes? We're well, totally happy. Ashley Zoe Fox get fucked. Could that be a big number one uh, for the boohoo tweet? Is that possible? 
Life ruined. Life ruined because I wouldn't eat shit from a furry. Weird. Ashley, I wasn't the one going around saying uh, a lot of ones. Oh, there's a lot of ones in that chat, Ashley. That must be triggering. It must be or triggering. Your only support circle of friends don't want to be around you anymore. Could it maybe have to do with the fact that every one of your roommates seemingly is into all sorts of really bizarre, kinky shit, and maybe they don't want to be on the radar and you put them smack dab right in the middle of it? And now people are reading through their beast forum posts and uh, the zoophilia and the, I don't even know what, the, the, the diaper fur shit. Ashley, could that maybe be what it is? Look at the picture. It's almost, it's almost a parody. <laughs> it's a, I know it's a, it's a screen cap, so you can't get the full impact of it, of how sad Ashley is. But that little stick figure, that's very upset. Oh, it's a lot of tears. A lot of tears. Oh, God, such tender hearted. Oh, I, I feel bad. I feel bad for Ashley. Maybe don't start, uh, <clears throat> maybe don't start shit, Ashley. Maybe not talk shit. Don't get hit. I don't know. It's a weird, it's a weird mentality to have on the internet. Poor Ashley. Well, you know, if we're gonna, let me do my little intro to what we're talking about. I want the perfect picture to really capture it. Oh, where are we? There we go. The life of a furry. Oh, you guys really, you really lucked out. The bronies kind of pulled your ass out of the fire, didn't they? I mean, for the longest time, the internet fucking hated furries. They would insert themselves everywhere. They would talk about the disgusting shit they were into. And pretty much everyone just outright fucking hated them. And it was like that for years, like half a decade of just shitting on furries. Everybody did it. Something Awful did it. 4chan did it. Everybody fucking did it. E-bombs world. Gaia Online. Gaia Online, home of the biggest weebs on earth, would shit on furries on a regular occasion. But then along come the bronies. And they're not really even into the fucked up shit that you are. They're just so annoying that people kind of lost focus for a while. And so they kind of shifted direction. And once you had that opening, right, once that shadow was cast by the bronies, you just, you slithered on in. Then you hit all the fucked up shit you were doing. And then you got more extreme. And you got weirder. You got more open about how weird you were. The diaper for shit, the zoophilia. Just rub it in everybody's face. Look at those two people. Look at the fucking looks on their face. I don't even know what country this is. Probably some Eastern Bloc fucking country. Could you imagine surviving communism? Surviving fucking communism? Eating dirt on a daily basis and then freedom comes? And you're thinking like, oh, we can finally buy toilet paper? And what does your fucking retarded son do? He dresses up like a wolf. And you're thinking to yourself, maybe Stalin was right. Maybe, maybe we've made a mistake. Maybe we should blame America for this. And you just weep. You silently fucking weep because this is what your progeny has turned into. A fucking gay furry mascot. A wolf wearing a Santa hat. And you just want to die. But there's no easy out. There's no easy out. Oh, that's just depressing. Just depressing. All right, let's see. Well, like I said, I, I want to do a palate cleanser. We're going to get into some heavy shit today. We're going to be looking at a lot of fucked up shit. So I thought, you know, before we get into the really fucked up shit, how about a fun story? People like fun stories. And I've got a nice little segue. You see that Eastern Bloc thing, the communism thing? I'm going to move us into another story. I think you're all going to like it. Because who doesn't like laughing at communists, especially white suburbanite middle class American communists? I do. I think maybe all of you do as well. So let me pull this up, and I've got a great story about an American Communist Party for you, and how things might have potentially went a little wrong for them. And then after we have a chuckle at the silly Frappuccino drinking, iPad having, Prius driving communists from fucking California, then we'll get into the really fucked up shit. So think of this as the nice opening to the darkness that's to come. Let me see, make sure I get everything lined up properly for chat. I think you're going to like this, chat. Let me just let me just start by reading off that tweet before we even get into what it's about. First-hand accounts of an ex-party member 
of PCUSA, which is a American Communist Party, where party meetings devolved into orgies, party funds were spent on prostitutes, and lesbian female members were peer pressured into sleeping with transgenders. That sounds like the communists I know. I don't know about you, chat, but do you want to hear about drug-fueled tranny orgies at the U.S. Communist Party? I think we all do. And there are quite a few screen caps of it. So let's see what those commies have been up to. Let's see, uh, let's see how they're fighting the, uh, fighting, what is it, the bourgeoisie? How are the proletariat rising up? Make sure everything's up. Okay. Well, it's a very Russian name, Jessica Coco. Uh, now, I can't uh, vouch for Jessica. Uh, they might be handicapped, and you might come to that conclusion, too, as I read what the, they've written. Uh, maybe they were huffing gas when they wrote this. I don't know. I will try to make it as uh, sensible as I can, but bear with me. Here we go. This is a first-hand account of what happened with the American Communist Party and their tranny orgies. I was going to keep silent over what took place in the party. However, as the party is now destroyed and only represents a few transgender agents and its supporters, it's irrelevant. This statement online is a complete lie and distortion of the truth. Five people have resigned or left. More will be resigning soon. A trans faction developed early, calling publicly online for the LGBTQ plus FB page and chat line calling for the destruction of the Women's Commission. In order to facilitate or I think they mean facilitate in order to facilitate this the agents declared we must kill the snake by cutting its head off we must isolate and target ousting Jessica the Facebook page and blog site were taken down however none of the instigators were reprimanded censored or expelled a our only african-american female comrade and I were treated in the most reprehensible way possible by the General Secretary for trying to bring up the factioning. The fact we had known sexual offenders, I'm sorry, the fact we had a known sexual offender and the possibility of agents, A, resigned. Since I would not, Alex, a trans member of the PB, sent out emails asking party members to shun, marginalize, ignore, and silence me, which was coupled with a reign of terror and violence and violence, such as cyberbullying, slandering me to other parties, and even death threats to my house over the phone. I was not, I would like to add, the only person who received death threats over the phone. You see, the trans agents were deliberately eliminating strategic people, not just myself, but those who did the bulk of the anti-imperialist work. The attacks scapegoating me were exactly that a way to divert attention from what they were secretly doing. Funds were also at the same time stolen, so that to this day have not been returned. The unruly member which is mentioned in the statement is me, and I was never ever reprimanded or censored. I was immediately expelled in a mockery of a trial that resembled the Inquisition. The only difference was, it was the accusers who sat on the judge. <laughs> I'm sorry. So, Jessica, our little comrade, was being targeted by trans agents within the Communist United States Party. After they had stolen funds for their wild... Well, we'll get to that. I don't want to jump ahead too far in the story. But, uh, I can't believe this, Jessica. Are you telling me that you had a farce of a trial under communist rule? Who, who's ever heard of that happening? Surely, communist countries were known for their fair and just legal system. I don't, can I pull chat? Chat? What do you think? Do you think you think Jessica's going to have a difficult time of this? All those all those death threats, the Inquisition, and cyberbullying. Oh, how will she ever survive? Okay, I said on the judiciary, we're not able to burn me for witchcraft as they expressed I should. Crooks, slanderers, and sexual predators were protected. Only I was expelled for trying to practice my right to criticism and self-criticism under democratic centralism. Remember that others resigned, so it was unnecessary to expel them. The bourgeois media, Angelo, refers to Jason Uhura, Uhura? I don't know, I don't know, Unruha piece of the PCUSA and its death over Ed Bull. Unruha 
YouTube channel, I hardly would classify as bourgeois media. As to allegations, money was stolen to pay for drugs. Alcohol-induced orgies in California. I cannot answer this question. I don't know the source of this accusation. I do not know how the funds were spent. I can maybe, re I can maybe summarize how the funds were misused. But summarize doesn't equal knowing. I can say that Florida branch meetings did descend into drug and alcohol-induced orgies. Lesbians were also, in fact, forced to have sex with trans members. According to the members, all youth engage in orgies and drug and alcohol use and pressuring women for sex. When I confronted the general secretary that this defense was ridiculous and most Americans, including youth, would find this behavior abhorrent, I was poo-pooed. When I brought it up, I could not introduce potential members in Florida to these degenerates because potential members like Jay would be disgusted and even because uh, and even report us to foreign CPs like the KPRF, which I, I don't know what that stands for. I was told just not to introduce and to deny the potential members of Florida Club existed because we had to keep these three members of which one was a sex predator. <laughs> what are they doing? I'm sorry. I did all I could to save the party. I could not do enough to try to save it. The problem was our general secretary let his male crush on one of the supposedly 17-year-old agents to take over his responsibility to the Women's Commission and to its female working class members. So this commie party was so fucked up. They were into such weird, degenerate shit. The, even the commie members of it were like, we, you know, we need to tone it down because communists in other countries are going to think we are fucking insane. And their answer was, just don't tell anybody about it. Don't tell them about our drug-fueled tranny orgies, and it'll be kosher. It's copacetic, bro. Everything's good. It's looking golden. The GS was incapable of seeing beyond what the trans agent was really doing which was not only getting rid of women's commission and two strategic women, but also other strategic people. Uh, this is why identity politics are dangerous and why it's dangerous to be naive that the U.S. government won't send agents even into a small party. GS still defends the trans agents and insists the only infiltrator is me, an original founder who is well known, uh, a well-known community activist. You can Google my name online. It behooves one to believe that I am... Uh, so destitute and with a history of party work would be an agent whereas a large majority of our trans youth all seem to be full-time students with no jobs living independently with high amounts of regular cash flows the sexual predator for example spends over twelve hundred dollars on his marijuana and cigarette habit where is he getting these large sums of cash well you know let's 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 try to figure that out so if that's monthly which i'm guessing is what they're saying it's like a hundred dollars a carton you know let's say he gets four cartons well three cartons uh a month before we'll, we'll just say four fuck it so he's spending four hundred dollars on cigarettes that means they're spending eight hundred dollars on pot every month with communist party funds <laughs> that's fantastic there's one thing i also forgot to mention which was highly important and the reason why this all came out into the open making the party a laughingstock of the left. Even before I was expelled, the two transgender agents went on the official PC USA Facebook page and openly disparaged me. They declared their victory in purging biological women and ended their long tirade of slander and lies with long-lived trans liberation. They also... <laughs> that's a hell of a... That's a, that's a hell of a catchphrase. They also published with pride how the PC USA Constitution makes discrimination against trans, aka gender identity, against party rules, but discrimination against women acceptable. How could a GS and PB not reprimand or censor these two agents? Why did they not correct the error and re-include women, but insist that the uh, that was the Constitution agreed upon by its members? I never voted to remove women and never voted to erase them from the Constitution or party. Was there some secret meeting dissenting members were not invited to? I did not publicly embar embarrass the party. The trans agents did repeatedly, 
in fact, in Uruhaha's YouTube, was not put out by me or anyone who has resigned. It was put out by a strident homo and transphobe who somehow mysteriously received party documents. How or why this person received party documents, I do not know. But I do know. People outside our party received party documents well before I ever came out publicly with what was happening. Well, that is quite the tale indeed. It seems that the Party Communist USA, or whatever the PC exactly stands for, Party of Comrades, Politically Correct Communists, I don't know. Lots of, lots of tranny uh, and drug-induced orgies. I also like how their, their hot take, I like Jessica's insight, that all these, uh, all these uppity 20-year-olds that are joining the party are a bunch of fucking middle-class suburbanite white kids in college spending mommy and daddy's money as they LARP as communists. That's always delightful. <laughs> they reached a point in this party where if you were a lesbian, you were bullied into fucking trans people and told that basically women can have penises. That was the message you were given. It's a trans vagina. Suck it. That's what the lesbians were told in this communist party. How delightful. How, how, how absolutely delightful. Okay. See, I told you, a nice little super chat. A little bit of fun. A little bit of a palate cleanser before we get into it. I've got a few more palate cleansers as we go along. Now, I'm, I've got some uh, super chats here. We'll read through some of these. I found a better system, so hopefully I can get through these much easier now. And uh, then we're going we're gonna to start our deep dive into the fur degeneracy that awaits us. Okay. Uh, enlightened Apple fanboy, Rip Boogie 1488 Good luck, Jim. Thank you. Mangoy Love Association, Jim, this bunty shit got me wondering, what's the most awkward relationship moment in a relationship you ever had? Also, more Little Jim stories, please. Well, see, unlike Bunty King, I don't think it's really a brilliant idea to go on the internet and start giving out personal details of your life. Or tell people that you like to eat shit like he does. I don't know what compels Bunty King to make numerous YouTube videos where he explains to people that he likes bloody vaginas and eating poop, but um, that guy's operating on a level far beyond everybody else. <laughs> far beyond everybody. Well, maybe we'll take a look at the Tariq Nasheed video later where he lights Bunty King up because that's pretty funny. Uh, 1999, Frats Furs Unite, Suck a Dick, Gas a Furry, Zigile, Xenophag Uprising, Jim are you going to read Super Chats from previous streams? There were four of mine in total that never got read. Uh, yep, if we have time at the end of this stream, I will. I'm going to try to prioritize the new ones first, though, as we move along. Smug Bugman, this stream begins so must uh, so we must hurry. For Jim, we tell us all of the furries, the lives they claim and dead they maim will drive us to excise their brains. Exterminatus for them all, for we shall cleanse them short and tall. It's a beautiful poem. Omniflex, gun to your head, you have to pick an anthro animal to bang. I'll take the bullet. That would be my answer for you. Fash Bandicoot, press H, or press H if furries should ride the holocoaster. Richard Dempsey, FYI, started a breath-holding contest with myself until I hear your sweet grooming voice. Well, that was three hours ago that you sent this through, so hopefully you're not dead. Bubblegum Gun, shekels to the building of the furry pounds. Sean Turner, this has come from Adam. Touch a puppy and shot you with my shoddy race Worski. He is on the hunt for Kiro and his crew. He will butcher them and gas them. Hasbro was just a warm-up. This one is personal. RJ Jeffrey, or R. Jeffrey, 14. Jim, please don't get ass blasted and end the stream early this time before showing the good shit. I didn't get five guys so you could duck out early. Uh, hopefully you're enjoying your meal. Connor Potoff, groom crew checking and reporting into the Sweetie Squad over. Cheeky Carmel Bunny 74, love your content and your voice. Your sense of humor is delicious. Take my shekels. Thank you. Make Stallion Wiggins great again. Have you uh, watched any of the ONA documentaries? Uh, no, I haven't. I loved watching ONA October. That shit was amazing. Uh, after they broke up, kind of followed them a little bit and then uh, kind of just faded away. I haven't watched any of the documentaries on them, though. The Retard Gestapo, first for Caesar and Blake, the perfect Discord BFs. 
Second, for buttons and FNGR Spurgs. Rando number nine, I don't feel like cooking. Someone give me a suggestion on what I should order to eat. Anything but McDonald's. I, I don't know where you live. I don't know what's around you. Couldn't really give you a great suggestion. Why don't you make some, uh, some uh, teriyaki salmon and rice? That's always a good meal. Or lettuce wraps. That, that shit's delicious. Bubblegum gun. Christians were never uh, uh, allies, and Hitler knew this. Noise Attic 13 Jim set the ovens to 1488 degrees. KTTK Zig Zeon. Dustin D. Hayes, here's some shekels. Now, before you disable them later, or before they disable them later, and may God have mercy on your soul for what you're digging into. Uh, yep, it's going to be memorable. Bubblegum Gun, forgive them for their sins. Jesus. Pharaoh Owen, Jim, did Donald Trump call you two hours ago and tell you you had to knock these furries out because they're on the news making us look bad and shit? Uh, no. Uh, he did not. Rando number nine. So if a person was a horse furry and became a cripple, would it not only be legal but morally justifiable to put them down? Uh, yes, it would. You are, I think you're legally obligated to, to put them out of their misery. Prophet Muhammad, save a puppy, convert to the one true faith, and fuck a kid instead. That is a uh, dark message, Mr. Muhammad. I cannot, uh, <laughs> I cannot avow that message. HCRTU, did you see Tariq call out Bunty Cuck? Yeah, well, take a look at that, probably. Colin Stevens, go buy a cap or a pack of Camel Reds, you frontal. I don't know where you live that $2 could buy a pack of cigarettes, but I want to move there. So give me an address, because that's the new place I'm going to go live. Energy Zex, what are your top nine games, your top seven game characters, your top six gaming songs, not OST, but actual songs? And who are your five top five white or game waifus? That is twenty seven. How many? Uh, let's see. That's thirteen, eighteen. Uh, yeah, that's twenty seven questions. I, I'll give you. I'll answer five of them for the five dollars you gave me, rather than twenty fucking seven of them. Uh, what are my top five games? I, I, I get asked this all the time, and it's always the same fucking answer. I mean, I, I really like Brigandine for PlayStation One. Probably a lot, uh, a lot of people don't know it. It's a great game. Great fucking game. In fact, the majority of shit I would tell you would be PS1 and PS2. Ace Combat, there are like three or four titles from that I could pick. It'd be really hard to nail it down, but probably four, five, or zero. Uh, let's see. Xenogears would also be at the fucking list. Really good shit. Uh, I really dug the four, or the, what is it? Quadrilogy? There's another word for it. Uh, tetralogy? Whatever it's called. Uh, the four RPGs in the Dot .hack series. They released two sets. One was a four-episode one, one was a three-episode one. Uh, it's, I couldn't really pick one of them, but I played the shit out of that. And then, I don't know, number five, what, what am I going to put on there? Probably some other, some other RTS or some other RPG. That was a great thing about Sony, at least during that period. The PS1 and PS2 had amazing fucking libraries. Like, that, that period for that company... When everybody was just throwing shit at them. When you still had people like Working Design and other people just making good shit. Or, you know, porting stuff over that was kind of on the Saturn or kind of on uh, the Dreamcast. So you just got you got so many good fucking games. Like the PS3 and 360 era, ah, it was kind of just... Everything was fucking brown and beige and shooter-based. And RPGs kind of died a slow death. You still had some shmups, but there wasn't a ton of them. I mean, it's only been recently that things have started to get a little better when you've got shit like Dark Souls and uh, Demon Souls and uh, Nio and shit like that. But I mean, that's, that's like one genre that's doing really well. Uh, we'll, do, we'll do a few more and then I'll, I'll try to segment this up. But I, I did find a better system for this where it lets me know exactly where I left off. So I won't miss any more uh, going forward. I wish I'd known this fucking screen existed in the first place. Uh, me machine Jim my brother is a furry is it dishonorable <laughs> dishonorable to perform an honor killing he's so far gone and hangs out with complete degenerates his animal dildo collection is plentiful and he's lost all ambition I'll tell you what to do me machine I want you to wait until the next family gathering okay I want you to wait for I, I don't know what religion your family is but I'm just going to assume Hey, fuck it. We'll just say Christian, American, normal. You, you celebrate the holidays most people do. Adjust it if you need to. But you get the basic idea. I want you to wait to the next big family gathering for a holiday. And all your family's there. Grandma's there. Grandpa's there. All the little cousins are there. Mom and dad are there. And your fucking brother's there. 
and I want you to take every single one of his animal dildos and place them on the fucking table around the turkey. And then don't say anything. Because you have to do this kind of stealthily. You don't want anybody to see you. Wait till they're doing some family photo or something. Because he's going to have to try to take them away. And then explain why he's got 42 dragon dildos and some 14 foot long horse cock that's just plunked out right on top of the mashed potatoes. You need to shame him, meme machine. That's what you need to do. Dan Coriardi uh, won't be able to watch your stream due to Cacadian Thanksgiving. Have a beer on me and burn some furries. The narrator is Kenny Jones a furry or a scaly. I'm not sure, to be honest. Retard, better watch out or you'll get yiffed to death. Mario Carter 13, Hitler loved dogs a little too much. Hashtag gas them all. Read two more here and then we'll, we'll jump into some stuff. The man in black, here's my money. Just for the glorious picture, I say kill them all. And finally, Purple Oblivion. Where's your streaming license, mate? Also, I may be a fur fag, but thank you for taking on the sick fucks among us. Doesn't seem like many furs even try. Yes, I have noticed that uh, there seems to be a bit of a division going off in the furry community, where a, uh, a segment is kind of getting fucking tired of it. I don't know what to tell you guys. It, it seems like it's just everywhere in your fucking community. Um, you know, V was on a stream, and V used to be a furry, and he, or scaly or whatever, and he talked about how, you know, attitudes shifted with conventions, and attitudes shifted in the community, and things just kind of became worse than they were before. So I, I, I don't know what to tell you, man. Uh, good luck. Don't let him yiff you, Purple Oblivion. All right. Let's see here. Uh, you know what? Actually, now that he brought that up, uh, this this is probably a good way to start this. Oh, is it still? Yeah, it's still on YouTube. Beautiful. Oh, this is fucking awful. Since we're talking about furries and we're talking about what furries used to be uh, and how they were perceived, I'm going to show you a video. We're going to watch a video chat, a little bit of history with internet furries. Uh, this is called Foam Adventure. It went up nearly nine years ago. God, coming up on 10 years, this video is almost a decade old. Just to give you an idea of what furries are like and the cringy, stupid shit they get into. So let's, let's load this up and take a look at what female furries are like in their natural habitat. I'm sure they're not fucking annoying harpies with voices that make you want to gouge your fucking ears out. I'm sure that's not at all what they're like. So let me cue up Foam Adventure. Oh, I see some people are familiar with it. I see a lot of no's coming up. Oh, you're in for a treat, chat. You're in for a fucking treat. It's a Foam Adventure time. Oh, yes. There's no escaping it. I don't, I don't know why you're protesting so much. We haven't even... You understand, we're going to be talking about people fucking puppies to death. So, I think Foam Adventure is a nice, easy segue into it. There we go. Uh, it's a re-upload, but the original went up in 2009. So grab some popcorn, get a drink, get prepared. Uh, this is a, a Foam Adventure, otherwise known as How to Make Anything Instantly Awesome. Oh boy. Here we go, chat. It's their amazing 52% off sale of foam. So we're gonna get some. <laughs> Don't you just love it? Don't you love it when a, a fully grown woman in a dog collar and camo hat squee at you and, and yelp at you and make little anime sounds? That's not annoying. I'm sure she gets dick all the time. This chick is rolling in cocks. <laughs> They got the fools, and we're gonna steal it all. <laughs> we gotta try to make it less suspicious somehow. Hmm. Somehow. <laughs> there you go. Hide it behind your bag. <laughs> it could be my green dress. Yes. They'll never know. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Oh yes. Sexy. <laughs> Can you imagine being the poor store worker that has to deal with shit like this? 
some two, a couple of retarded college chicks come in and, and act like fucking retards, and you just want to get over with your shift. And they're like getting off. They're getting wet. It's like a river between their legs because they're buying a fucking roll of foam. <laughs> Look at the girl. Look at her. She hates these people. Uh, we just want to know how long it is. Right now, as it is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really enjoying this. <laughs> so am I. Nine and three quarters. Wow. How much was it? Nine and three quarters. Which Guys. is the depth they'll be buried at after furries are exterminated. So a little FYI for you. Imagine buying the they're buying so much foam for their dumb little costumes and squeeing like retards. Sale? Yeah, that's what I figured. So <laughs> snap. We got foam! We got foam! <laughs> I know. How are we gonna fit it in the car? <laughs> I wonder if I can fit this in the back seat. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> you know, chat. There are still eight minutes of this left. You're only you're only two and a half minutes in to the foam adventure. Imagine you meet a girl at college, and she's not dressed in a dog collar that particular day. And you're like, oh, you know, maybe we've got something in common. Maybe, maybe I could date this girl. And then you check out her, you know, Facebook page and the links to her YouTube channel. And you see this. You see her humping, dry humping foam into the back of her seat, squeeing like an anime retard. Because she wants to build a furry costume. What do you do, chat? What would you do in that situation? Would you pretend you don't know her at school? Would you just, would you move schools? Would you, would you buy a gun? What what solution are you going with? Oh, we have foam, you guys! <laughs> we got foam! I am so excited! I know! We're gonna bring foam home now! You! Do the foam dance! That's right! You work it, girl! Do you like it? Do you like the girly talk? Do you like the squeeing and the growling and the nonstop giggling? Don't they seem like so much fun? Oh, who would want to get together with these girls and drink some bleach? I feel like this is almost like a, a live action version of Reddit. Like Reddit posts corporealized. Like they, they became tangible, <laughs> walking avatars of what that website is. And we're watching them try to live a daily life, but fucking it up at every turn. Okay, we'll catch you next time. Look, look, we're stopping. 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 Don't, don't you kind of hope this turns into a road rage or road road rage video where the black guy just drives them into the divider and we get a better ending to this did they understand I don't think so why we're surrounded by normal people it's scary <laughs> you normal we're not people. alone this is true we this got is each true. other See, this is actually a really good representation of what I was talking about. When I said furries pissed off everybody on the internet back in the day, how they're acting in real life is how they acted on every forum and website that existed. 
they couldn't just shut the fuck up. They couldn't just be furries, right? They had to shove it in everybody's face. They had to scream at the top of their lungs and squee about all their foam and about all their degenerate shit. This is, this is a perfect fucking representation of their behavior online for years. This is the kind of shit that made people fucking hate them. Fled in fear. They knew they couldn't handle how awesome we were. We got foam! Damn it. <laughs> they didn't even care. They didn't even look at us. I know. <laughs> It ripped! It ripped! It ripped! You ripped the phone! You ripped it! There, there. No! No! We have to put a band-aid on it. Make it all better. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you got the phone! Lots of it. Is it awesome? Let me, let me, let me, uh, pull chat on this. Uh, where's your hate level sitting right now, chat, after being exposed to these wonderful women? On a scale of 0 to 10, 0 being complete indifference, and 10 wanting to dump their bodies in a ditch, where, where would you say you are after only 7 minutes of exposure uh, to these, oh, she's got a tail, oh, and she's fat. It's always the fat girl, isn't it? The fat girl that wants to be a cute bunny rabbit. But she's just not going to pull that look off. How many of them do you think are on the spectrum? I'm going to guess that at least two of these girls are, are somewhere on the spectrum. If you put a toy train in front of them, two of them would get distracted. And one of them's too fat to really be bothered. Fat girls and autistic girls with tails in their asses running around Menards and Home Depot. Oh my god, look at that thing. No wonder it puts a fucking mask on. Oh, and there's their cuck. There's the cuck in the relationship wearing his fucking chains. Looks like it was made out of a fucking tambourine. So if he tries to make a run for it, they can hear him and put him back in his fucking cage. Oh, God. One more. I got this. It's still bleeding. It's blooding. <laughs> hey, there, foe. It'll be okay. All ready. Ready? It's all better. <laughs> Yay. I am a doctor. Yay. Ooh, a sexy doctor. Oh, yes. <laughs> Goggle doctor. Lesbians. <laughs> Not awesome anymore. High awesome high five. Go. I like how they all identify as lesbians, and then they all look at their cuck. It's like they're telling them, we may be autistic furries, but even we are not going to fuck you, tambourine man. You are never going to get any of this. You will, you will forever be designated as our fur cuck, or as I like to call it, a fuck. A fuck that's not getting fucked. A tambourine-loving cuck. <laughs> Look how much foam we got. <laughs> oh my god. There you go. That was the uh, that was the classic foam adventure. I hope you all loved it. <laughs> I hope you all really enjoyed it. That is a good a good time capsule of what furries were like on the internet and pretty much everywhere for years. For fucking years, they were like that. All right. Let me let me get this stuff up and running or er, ready. The Degeneracy, we're going to start with uh, a person in their group called Snake Thing. One of the, uh, uh, well, I, you know, I'll read, I'm going to read the thread title for you. Snake Thing, and this is how they describe him in his own little thread in Animal Control. Furry, Zoo Satanism, Telegram Ringleader, Necrophile, Puppy Rapist, Nephew Molester. So that is who we're going to start with. Now let me, let me read a few super chats. Uh, so I don't get too far behind here. And then uh, we'll, we'll jump right into it. 
or off a bridge if he becomes too degenerate and none of us want to live anymore after this horrible shit. Uh, Zemeckis Lebowski, I want to die a whole bunch. Uh, welcome to the club, Zemeckis. I think you're going to be feeling that for the rest of the stream. Brenna Ramos, Jimbo, who makes the art for your videos? Uh, majority is done by my girlfriend, Jade. Uh, other pieces, people just kind of randomly draw, and I'll use them once in a while, but the majority is her. Uh, toked without thinking, Boomer Jim, the zo or Zoomer Groomer, should do a video about how fur fags groom kids. Now, that's kind of what we're going to be talking about. Question everything. It's time to forcibly remove the furries from society. Gabe Washeret. Uh, good luck on my name. <laughs> well, this is very prescient of you. I remember you saying vodka is a superior alcohol. How do you drink it? Cheers to another great stream. I'm uh, I'm a very simplistic guy. Like if I'm gonna if I'm gonna drink, I'm doing it for the purpose of getting drunk. I've never been one of those people that like wants to sit around and sip on like whiskey or rum and shit like that. So if I'm going to drink, I'm doing it to get drunk. And there's nothing better than shit that tastes like paint thinner, Kharkov vodka, uh, to get the job done. I just, I drink it straight up. Uh, sometimes I'll have it on the rocks if I want it chilled. But aside from that, just basically how it is. Uh, if, if I want something, a, a little bit of sweetness, maybe a white Russian. Uh, question, oh, no, I read that one already. Uh, Switchy, Boogie2988 died. Uh, Ripping, rip in peace, Boogie. Still Burning Studios, Blood Money for the Persecution, Deep Blue, Burn, P.K. Russo, <laughs> P.K. Russell, too? I will I will check to see if they're in there. Uh, Steven Simard, my armor is contempt, my shield is disgust, my uh, sword is hatred. In the Emperor's name, let none survive. Spooky Panda Girl, hey Jim, thanks for all the great work and I hope the cancer of the furry tards is in remission. Uh, hopefully, I will get over it. Davy Crockett, beer for Brett Cracker. Charlie Willis, Jim H7 Outer Heaven Mediker. Uh, the Sweetie Squad is eternal. And they're eternal because they're all preteens, and they won't be old for a long time. Ronson, hopefully the furries won't get their hands on Peppa the Pig. God help us if they do, they will fuck that poor animal to death. Coop, if any of the furries are feeling sad after the stream, there's a website called Better Health, which you should check out. Be sure to use the promo code Hashtag Philip DeFrado for a discount. Sage advice, Coop. Morst M, did you hear that uh, Thad McMichael is getting out of prison Tuesday? Oh, Mad Thad is getting out, is he? He's that anime pedo that has a folder called Things Don't Click CP on his hard disk drive. Yeah, I, I, I vaguely remember the story of him. Uh, was he not the idiot that got investigated by the FBI and then posted pictures bragging about how he fooled them afterwards on like Facebook? And they went and reinvestigated and found his uh, child porn collection. I think that's the guy. Joey Jojo, I saw you got a 3DS. I recommend getting Yokai Watch, Senran Kaguru Burst, and two Project X Zone and Dragon Quest Eight Dead or Alive Dimensions and an R4. Well, if I was going to get an R4, why would I buy anything? I'd just pirate everything, wouldn't I? Uh, but I, I will take that under suggestion. I, I'm really enjoying the shit out of Fire Emblem. I'm, you know, I'm not really a handheld guy, so being able to kind of play over those, uh, I'm having a lot of fun with them. It's good stuff. Glitch mod, Jim, you better not rage quit again, you pussy. Talk about Kenny Jones, the serial stalker. Jade's fr <laughs> Jade's front hole smells worse than a Cambodian genocide. Harsh. Terry Cole, one 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 one. How much to start playing Celebration? I'm not even sure what song you're referring to. So much, Lord Medicare knows the way, sending those yiffers to hell. James Bennick, can't stop till they all go to the Omnipolitics Road. King Nick, way to go, you big meanie. I'm going dark and becoming a fur fag now. From Quackles, lay into them. Jim Daddy, hashtag skin the furries alive. Uh, we've got a from Cherry Chernobyl, just the number one. Uh, Avenger29078, Jim, what happened to the David Shitrat stream? Uh, we'll be going back to Skeptic Sundays fairly shortly. I just wanted to finish up business with the fur fags first, and then we will resume shitting on skeptics. Uh, Shit rat is coming up. I haven't forgotten about that. Lots of skeptics are coming up. We're going to have fun with that next, uh, either next Sunday or the Sunday after, but once it resumes, we'll full on go through them. Uh, hope of men, people who are mental children deserve to be made fun of. Talk shit, get hit. From Ladenstar, another number one. 
Alfred the 100, it doesn't matter who we are, Jim, all that matters is our plan. First last, Oktoberfest in Texas was awesome. Great fun celebrating with your own people gave me much needed boost. Also, I declare exterminatus on furries, 1488. Digger John, no one messes with Billy. Energy's X, according to Ed, you cried at the Tiananmen protest photo. Also, did that guy in the photo die? Well, yeah, I, and I always get choked up when I when I look at the Tiananmen Square protest photo. Uh, but uh, I, I think the Chinese government, when they referred to him, when they were asked later on if that guy was around or arrested or what happened to him, I think their official response was actually something like, I think he's still alive. They wouldn't, they wouldn't confirm what happened. I think he's still alive, I think is the official response. Cynic 8, can we talk about, uh, can we talk shit about weebs? No matter what they do, they will never top this. Oh, can we even talk shit about weebs? Yes, we can. You know what? Now that's a chat. Oh, I, I don't know if I could find it. Let me see if I can find it. See, now you're going to piss chat off because if you thought the foam adventure one was bad, wait till I show you this fat redheaded weeb uh, who looks ugly in a dress squeeing at guys at an anime convention. Can I find it by Googling annoying whore? Will that, will that work? Oh, no. I, probably not. Uh, I'll have to find that for another day. Sorry. Oh, there's also another chick who went to an anime convention. And it was, like, notorious, right? Because uh, she didn't wash. And she wore, like, this... Almost like a, a fucking G-string bikini uh, was her outfit. And apparently her pussy reeked. And you can see it every time she goes to do, like, a photo op with people. Like, you could see the look on their face. Like, they just smelled burning garbage, and nobody wanted to go near her. And apparently everybody was talking about this on social media. She was completely oblivious to it. But just awful smell. Awful smell. Maybe maybe I'll include that shit in another stream. Uh, the ZZ Zan Man. I used to be really neutral about furries, but this, holy hell, this is incredible. How deep does this rabbit hole go? Spectre Gutel, burn it to the ground, Jim, then piss on the ashes. Durst, uh, Durst Lex Sad Lex, screw Kinky, dirty talk is Kinky, these people are sick. Uh, very true. We're, uh, we'll go through five more and then we'll jump in. Uh, Dentron, in before Sargon takes a zoo sadist side to own the gym. <laughs> I wonder if Donga has. Is Donga going to have zoo sadist on his stream now to teach me a lesson? Probably. Him and Tommy. They're going to team up with the zoo crew? Ah, uh, Jim, why don't you wrestle the furries? Uh, Trolita, Hitler did nothing wrong. Question everything. Chat, shit, get banged, as they said in Bongland, before they started to get fined for cursing. Rocket, Matt Coon, Donga no, <laughs> Donga no agree. Now, let me try get the voice here. Donga no agree. Donga say burn. Donga want Jim to do Donga. Donga voice make Donga do big laugh. And finally... Ilju Productions, investigate fur out of eleven. All right. Let me let me get uh, let me get Snake Thing. We'll we'll hit more super chats later, but let me get Snake Thing ready to go. Hope you hope you folks are ready for this shit. Oh boy. I will uh, put up screen caps when I can put them up. Some will have to be censored. Some will have to be excluded, obviously, because we're talking about fucked up shit. Talking about fucked up shit. Uh, but this is about Snake Thing. This is a person that was involved in the zoo sadism leaks. That was the leak that involved Kiro, the YouTuber, with 100,000 subs and other uh, assorted furries. We talked about, I think, Amber Wolf last time, talked about Kiro, and lightly touched on Snake Thing. But Snake Thing is seen in a lot of the screen caps. So, Levi is one of the several furries outed as a zoo sadist in the Zudnim uh, leaks, which is the person that uh, initially dumped them on the internet. The leakers describe him as being a key organizer among the zoo sadists. So this is somebody that was deeply connected to all this shit. Uh, and we've already heard them talk about pedophilia, okay? Uh, if you missed the stream from the third, you might be playing a bit of catch up here, but it goes well beyond animal torture. It goes well beyond having sex with animals, uh, torturing puppies, all that kind of stuff. Uh, these people do things to kids, and they advocate doing things to kids. And we're going to be looking at screen caps of alleged conversations between Snake Thing and other people talking about victimizing children. So uh, keep that in mind. Uh, you know, th these are the furries in their natural fucking habitat. 
And it just, it's never good enough. They can't just be degenerate at one fucking level. They take it, you know, up a notch time and time again. Uh, the OP in this particular thread, before we get into this, uh, said Levi had sexually abused his nephews and talked about it with fellow uh, furry pedophile. Uh, it appears Levi shared CP with James as well. Possible of said nephews in the logs, Levi and James discuss how Levi's mother is in some capacity aware he is sexually interested in minors. Despite this, she still lets him around her nephews, resulting in them being abused. So uh, prepare yourself. Let me let me start pulling up screen caps and we'll take a look at what these fucking people are up to. I'll try to get these on screen as best I can after I check to make sure there's not fucked up animal torture in them. And uh, we'll go. All right, let me pull that down. Window capture. There we go. Uh, hopefully it's viewable enough for you. But I'll, I'll obviously be reading along. Uh, this is between Snake Thing and Sangi. Uh, again, this is part of the, the leaks that happened about three weeks ago. Snake Thing. It really would be. I could sit you in my lap at the computer and stroke you as you look at pictures of, and I believe the redacted portion is his nephew. Ha ha. Colon uh, three. I need more, or I need him more nude. I need him more nude too. You do have that old video of him though. The one I made for you. Gone. Gone XD? I'm sad. I may, able, or I may be able to get it back for you if you want it. Yeah. Didn't show much, by the way. I'll have to look around, though, when I get to my computer. I know I still showed enough, though. So I believe this is the beginning of the conversation where they're talking about the kid that he has access to. He wasn't just satisfied with abusing him. He wanted to share that abuse with other furries. And he wanted to produce uh, what essentially is child pornography to send to other furries. And he'd go as far as, I guess, taking requests. People were sending requests on what they wanted to see. And from what he says, and from what other people involved in these conversations say, the mother was aware that something underhanded was going on. So she's not innocent in this. Uh, all right, let's go to the next one. So it's a good idea to never be forward. He's a bit of a blabbermouth. Thankfully, I've managed to keep him quiet thus far. But to be honest, I've stopped it with him for two reasons. Uh, number one, he has told me to say hi to you, but hasn't really mentioned anything else. He isn't upset or anything, but I think he's not as inclined as he was. I'm sure he still finds you handsome, though. God, what is it with pedophiles and delusion? I'm sure he still finds you handsome, though. Yeah, I'm sure that's what the kid's thinking when he looks at a fucking fur fag. He's a, what a handsome guy that guy is. After a while, I'd rather ha uh, him not recollect too much of the stuff. Number two, I prefer blank. Plus, don't want to do more with. So it looks like they're two children. At least in the forward sense for two, I don't know if that makes sense. Think blank would be more likely to be hush? I do. Plus, you've seen his wee-wee, so that's a plus. Just no shame. These people have no fucking shame. So, I mean, this would seem to allude to the fact that he's admitting openly that he's sending child pornography of a family member, of a young male family member, to another furry. And going as far as to do photo shoots uh, and specialized content it's not enough just to molest the poor fucking kid this piece of shit has to take it to the next fucking level and make it just worse has to really ride up the fucking bill of the therapist the poor motherfucker's gonna need when he's older all right uh let's go to the next ones here yeah and this guy he does this when he talks and it's so fucking annoying Aw, okay. I'm sure he'd love to meet you someday. I didn't mention this earlier, by the way, but when I took those pictures earlier today of me with his underwear, well, I pawed with them and orgasmed with them. Didn't orgasm in them, but got a little bit on the outside on accident. I made a video of it. So, <laughs> this degenerate piece of fucking filth takes the kid's underwear, and I, I, we could all assume what he means by pod with it, and, uh, uh, all right, snake thing, hey, you really need, <laughs> Jesus, you really do need a kid to fuck, let's drug blank and hump his butt, JK, 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 
Mmm, I don't think the drugs would be needed. Perhaps. They may not, although it'd loosen him up a bit so you could enter him a lot easier. You'd be able to get in quite deep, I'd imagine. What kind of woman knows that this fucking degenerate is interested in children and allows him access to them? What kind of mother would you have to be to, to let that happen? To just to turn a blind eye to it? Hey, what the fuck is your problem, lady? And there's no way if this guy is this open and private conversation. He talks about it with everybody. And all these leaks we saw this constantly brought up. He's not ashamed of the weird, fucked up shit that he's into. And so what's weird to me is if he's that open about his degeneracy, if he's that open about his pedophilia and hurting animals and doing disgusting shit like that, how it is nobody calls him on it in real life. How his parents can turn a blind eye to it. How nobody else in the family says anything. How none of the neighbors have beaten him with a fucking baseball bat at this point. Holy shit. Okay. Let's uh, move to the next one. Uh, Sangi, does having the image make me a kid slut? Yes, sir, it does. Don't worry, though. Being a kid slut is quite the promotion over a regular one. Trust me. Ha 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 ha. I sure don't see much action for being a slut or anything. True. That's why you're a kid slut now. Gotta get all them youngins and corrupt the fuck out of them. Giggles, XD? Oh, sorry. I didn't put that one up. There you go. I'm, I'm reading their conversation between Sangi and Snake Thing. Gotta get them young and corrupt the fuck out of them. It's openly talking about grooming children and bringing them into this lifestyle. There's, they're fucking openly, blatantly talking about it. Let's get some kids and screw with their mental well-being and just try to fuck them up as much as we can. They even talk about drugging children. Drugging kids to rape them. Training them. Taking pictures and videos of them. And it's all XD emoticons, swinky faces, smiley faces. They no shame, no fucking guilt in what they're doing. They're totally into this. Loving every fucking second of it. This is what happens when you leave a fucking community of degenerates alone. And you let them spread their fucking shit. And nobody, there's no pushback against it. And I know that not all furries are like this, but from what I've heard a lot of furries say, it's almost like they've given up on pushing back against it. When you've got furries talking about, you know, having petting zoos where they're raping animals or rooms dedicated to fucking kids at conventions, where they're openly having conversations like this, or it's kind of already known in the community that people behave like this, where they're fucking teens or even preteens or trading CP or animal abuse photos, you got to put your fucking foot down if you you're allowing this to continue and they're going to become more ingrained in your fucking community they're going to dig deeper they're going to latch on like parasites because that's what this these kind of filth are they're parasites and they're going to spread that that shit to everywhere and it's going to get to the point where they're the majority and then you can't push back against it because there are too many of them because they're too ingrained into it. Because they're at too many conventions. They run too many websites. They're part of too many forums. And then you're shit out of luck. Because you either become a degenerate or you give up whatever the fucking hobby or community, whatever you think of it as. Yes, chat. Press G to gas. There you go. All right. Let me. I lost my spot here. Let me, let me find it. We'll, we'll continue. There are a lot of screen caps. We're going to be reading through a lot of shit. So... Uh, oh, no, was that the right one? I believe so. Okay. All right, let me, I, I, like I said, I have to double check these ahead of time. Uh, again, Snake Thing with the fucking emoticon shit from Snaggy. Iggy is hot too. He is, P. Where do you know him from? And then he's quoting something. Uh, this is from, I guess, a user named Iggy. So I had fun this night. Uh, okay. So I had fun with night, and they were not my age. So I was in my house, laying on the couch, half naked in a jock, and I turn over, and this little black kid was staring at me through the glass door that leads to the patio. 
So I opened the door to come in, uh, to ask, uh, asked him to come in, and I said, sure. We talked on the couch, and he said it was very hot, which is why I don't turn the AC on. So he took off his pants and a shirt, and we sat there naked, talking. I started to rub his leg, then I rubbed his stomach. He then decided to kiss my hand. And after that, he put his clothes back on and had to go home. So I guess Iggy is another one of them. That sits in a fucking hot house turning he doesn't turn the air conditioning on on what the off chance that a child wanders in snake thing a cub group oh it's a cub group of course cute yeah furry cubs or nope entirely different cub group one that doesn't shy away from rlc talk I'm, i'm gonna guess rlc stands for real life children just given the context of the conversation Uh, But it continues on the next uh, cap. Oh, by the way, I'm doing chores with, name redacted, I was trying to get him to do something he didn't want to do, and Mom was all like, he is your uncle. You do everything he says, no questions asked. And I'm here, like, thinking, oh, well, can you suck my dick, XD? XD, oh, my fucking God. LOL, I got bit hard, won't lie. I got bit hard, won't lie I love your mom but she apparently is still naive about you oh she knows I have an interest in CP stuff she's not that naive well sort of she's just way too busy in life to do much about it nibbles as far as I know she thinks she's keeping me in line XD yeah right in line of keeping me thinking about fucking little kiddos god You know, when these leaks dropped and people started looking through them, they they saw a lot of fucked up shit. They saw animal torture, uh, and that, that those were videos and pictures of that people raping animals, killing puppies, doing really horrendous things. Uh, and then you got to the kid stuff where they're talking about this sort of shit, and uh, there were groups kind of parsing through all of this, looking through all of this, and they're really disgusted by it because obviously it's fucking horrible. But I wonder if that's what, it, you know, it gives me an appreciation, I think, for cops. Because that must be what it's like for people that work in CSI, right? Like, that has to be a soul-crushing fucking job. Where you go into work every day, and you're dealing with people like this, that are that unrepentant about what they do. And you have to collect the evidence, and you have to watch the videos, and look at the pictures, and read the statements, day in and day out, of people like this. Just... How fucking destroy... That must just destroy you. That has to snuff out a piece of what makes you you. Can you imagine that? Just how fucking crushing that job would be? Dealing with this shit every day? This is only a taste of it. Those motherfuckers do it as a job. They have to sort through this kind of shit every day. God fucking Christ. All right. Let me take a small break here i'll read some super chats get caught up and we'll continue on we've got snake thing and a few others uh involved in this uh one of the other guys i i don't think it's snake thing it might be but one of the other ones was really into the animal torture thing uh we'll talk about that but uh, this is what this group did this is what they talked about all these logs drop all these people you know they're all communicating with each other and the thing is snake thing talked with kiro so, you know, Carol's like, yeah, I know who that is. Yeah, we talked on Telegram, but I wasn't into, you know, all the animal torture and stuff. Well, who knows what the fuck these two talked about? Like, if he's associating with this motherfucker. Because this guy can't keep his mouth shut. He constantly talks about fucking kids. All right, give me, give me one second here to pull this up. I have to get some more of those palate cleanser videos to deal with this shit. And then, uh... We'll get back into it. Uh, yeah, all right, let me pull up this page. All right, now I read that one. Where are we here? Uh, from Lurik, a gym theory, Sargon, make, or Sargon, Matt, Tonka were all former sweeties you groomed. They are sour now that you won't be friends with them. But that's just a theory. From Matt Fields, sumptuous sweetie squad, kill, 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 kill. Rand can. 
Here to listen to you rage, I'm prepared, got some wine. Hopefully you've got plenty of wine. You're going to need about four boxes for this shit. Sword and scale. This week I legitimately had an SJW try and defend a murderer simply because he had a mental illness. These people are crazy. Karnak. Uh, so like V's mom, which I'm sure would have been uh, a pretty good statement if I knew exactly when in the stream that was said. Ninja work 111. What's worse, a verf or a fur, a fur fag or a vorfag? Uh, I think a fur fag, hands down. Uh, I, I don't know a single vorfag that has actually succeeded in being eaten or eating another person whole. I mean, maybe a cannibal, but I think the fur fags take it. Malleable trick. Hey, Jimbo, what are your thoughts on the Jordan Hunt shit? Also, did you see Ariel Dumas's tweet about Kavanaugh? Don't know about Jordan Hunt and uh, have not seen Ariel's tweet. Addicted 420, don't start nothing, won't be nothing, hail Jim. Mahola Viking, shout out to Brian during Kruger, or Brian Dunning Kruger. Sketchy Mouse, greetings from Wapafa, Jim. Everyone here has been taking pot shots at Kiro and friends all weekend. Uh, good to hear. Feel free to shit on that retard and the people he associates with. Andrew Panella, or Panarella, groom me daddy, HRTRTU. Ashley, thank you for ruining my life. Ashley, you have no one to blame but yourself. Talk shit, get hit. Absorbing life force. The intro picture belongs in the Haas der Kernst Museum. Mako, shout out to Marcus Stryker. Hashtag degeneracy. Got a donation from Kevin. Uh, no message attack, or attached, thanks. Ten bucks due. Uh, there can be no more tolerance. These dark days were brought to us by tolerance. Gas all the degenerates and lash their bodies to crosses. Deus Vault. Uh, it looks like a message was retracted. Digger John, the workers control the means of reproduction. Mark Young, where's the video you said you would, uh, would be up yesterday? Um, I've actually delayed that. I'm going to be putting that up on the 10th uh, on World Mental Health Day. I'm sure you can guess what the subject's going to be, but I don't like their shitty little company, and I don't like how they're trying to market it, and I know what they're doing, and so I'm putting my video out on the same day to shit directly on them and people like Philip and just everybody involved in this fucking Ponzi scheme. Carnizzle, all this shit going down makes Jonathan Ross seem like a good boy who didn't do nothing. Mega Killer X, PC USA, who took way too much advice from Weimar Germany. Dirt Pants, unrelated, but what are your thoughts on Ace Attorney Trilogy coming to Steam? Also, did you play the ones on the 3DS? Love your streams. Keep them up, Jimbo. Uh, Ace Attorney's great. Always happy to see good games go to different platforms, so you haven't played it before and it comes out on PC and you've got Steam, check it out. Heather S., I'm not going to be able to watch this when you expose these monsters uh, for what they are doing but animal or to animals, but thank you so much for exposing them. While that is what we're going to be doing, I'm going to read five more and then we're going to go back into this. <clears throat> Wolf Bronski, I'm going to get a tattoo with a bunch of dumb liberals and suggestions or any suggestions on a Squeedy Squad or Sweetie Squad tattoo. Uh, no, I, I have none. That's something you be putting on you permanently. So just make sure it looks good. Joe, the king of Hyrule, solution to growing commie problem. Bring back Senator Joseph McCarthy and start enforcing the Communist Control Act of 1954. Keep what, uh, doing what you're doing, Jim. Jorgen Mundo 7, possibly meaningless, but notice all the people liking the tweets are Marxist Leninists. Leninist. Used to be that Trotskyites were the good commies to the West. Kevin Ricks, uh, money for exposing animal abusers and poking fun at commies. Two more here. Still Burning Studios, make sure to give any furry in distress from the stream the site for better help. I heard they have great counseling at affordable prices, and Feg Host, I came here to avoid the coma-inducing sleep. All right. Let us go back to Snake Thing. You know what? Let me see if I can find... Uh, let me see if I can find... Where, where do we leave off here? All right. Give me one second. I'm getting this queued up. We're looking at more conversations uh, he's been having with people and going from there. Oh, looks like these are secondary leaks. Yeah, there we go. Okay, let me put this up here. Window capture. Again, this is the same conversation between Snake Thing and Sangi. Is that even the mildest tent really tends to be noticeable? Or at least it bulges them out to noticeable degrees, and I use it to my advantage when I'm giving them hugs. You're bad. You know you love it. I've given, and again, I believe that's the name of the nephew, a hug with a half-stiffy before in these shorts, XD. 
My member practically went up between his legs when I partially lifted him up in the hug. Well, of course it'd be a tent, not an actual member, but you get what I mean. Uh, because how else to take advantage of a child than molesting them while you're giving them a hug? Like a good uncle would. Snake Thing is such a upstanding member of society, and I'm sure that kid just will have fond memories of the degenerate shit that this person's done to them. Uh, Snake Thing, you know what you love it though, wags butt at. Also, figure out the schedule on coming here. Blink will seduce me though. Oh, really now? I'm not sure how much longer he's going to be here. Come in the next week and I think he's going to be here still. So you can drag him into your lap, lift him up while copying a feel, etc. Also, the reason I wear the shorts that I do. Oh, and this goes into what we just read where he's talking about the tent. So it's not just making you know, videos and pictures for the other degenerates in this fucking Zuseda shit. Uh, he's inviting them to come over and molest the kid too. So it's not just, I want to molest him. It's, I want you to come over and do it. No shame. These people have no shame. I, I, I see normal chat, by the way. I, I see a lot of what's going on in normal chat. A lot of people saying gas them all. Hitler was right. Uh, yeah, no, I, I, I think a lot of people feel that way. Uh, yes, uh, somebody in chat said fucking evil. Uh, yeah, that's what this would be. This would be a definition for people that have, a, you know, struggle with uh, conceptualizing what evil would be. I think this person would qualify. This is a person that is sexually aroused by the torture of animals and the abuse of children. He's, he's not just, you know, unrepentant in it. He's exuberant in doing these things. He likes it. He wants to share these activities with other people. He wants to spread the word on doing this shit and get other people involved in doing it. I would say that fits the bill for what evil is. I, I think you're right on that. Now let me pull up some more screen caps here and we'll we'll continue along. It's just, yeah, man. <laughs> These fucking people. All right. Now, I, uh, these I'm going to have to be a little more careful on because uh, they involve... I, I'll, you know, I'm going to describe what's in these pictures because I can't obviously show them on stream. Uh, it's animal torture. Uh, it's kittens being crushed and puppies being crushed and stepped on and their eyes being gouged out. That That's in here. But um, we will get to that in a minute. All right, let me pull this up. Giggles, what? This is uh, uh, this is between him and Tane, apparently another person. Dick, is he localish? Oh or nah? He lives in Texas. Nods, nods. But he comes and visits me rarely. Only once so far, but he's the approved visitation friend by family, as families love him. Aw, that's real nice. Mmm, it is, Wags. He's also into cubs. I've sent him sneaky photos of my sister's kids many times before. Oh, naughty mmm blushes so it's not just a conversation about molesting children with one person in this fucking leak they're all doing it they're they're all talking about it uh let's let's move on with the animal abuse this is between ember i believe that's ember wolf let me let me double check here that was the person we talked about last week or no was that glow fox i don't keeping track of these fucking names all right here we go uh they're linking to things but snake thing that's perfect you're gonna get her maybe yeah for a permanent pet or temporary oh i wish you'd bring her down to me wags they're sharing pet pictures with each other i'm sure that's going to lead into the conversation about butchering them let's find out if you do end up getting her i totally have requests i won't share anything with anyone ever of course obviously if you're comfortable with that Oh, you want to rape the bitch? Do you, XD? I most likely won't be able to join you, but if you do get her and have fun, I have requests for you to do. Hmm, like... Muzzle docking. Shoving yourself deep in her throat. That's my favorite thing. In or out of a suit. Though there isn't enough zoo stuff with suits involved. Up to you, though. As I said, I wouldn't dare share anything you give me. Huff. Muzzle docking, throat fucking winking smiley face 
yeah, these people are the devil. <laughs> these people are evil. Uh, oh, I can't share this picture. Let me... Well, you know what? I, I don't act... Oh, yeah, I can read the conversation without putting it on screen. So let me let me try that. Okay, uh, this, this screen cap has him... Uh, has a picture of him and his furry hat, uh, his mascot hat, with chains and bindings around him, and he's naked with an erection. Ember... I drive her down to you so you would have a couple a toy for a couple of days. Leave her gaping and filled with seed. Snake thing. XT oh my. As I said, I don't think I'd be able to join you thanks to me living at my grandpa's. I'd rent a hotel for us. XD naughty. It would be nice. Perhaps I'll think about it. I'm in Myrtle Point at the moment. There's a Motel 6 in North Bend that allows dogs. Doesn't need to allow dogs if they have outdoor access. So these two are talking about... Okay. They're talking about buying a dog, getting together at a hotel, and brutally raping it together. And this guy is saying, I, I can't. I'm at my grandpa's right now, so you can't really bring the dog over for us to rape it. And they're discussing a Motel 6 or a Holiday Inn to go use to do it. All right, these ones I can show. All right, let's pull this up. Is the word rape appropriate to explain what you like? Because if so, marry me. Uh, they link to a video, which thankfully we can't watch, but we can imagine what these disgusting fucking subhumans are into. And hey, I like it hard. God damn, that's hot. It's not the first animal that I raped until the end. What do you think he means by raped until the end? Rape until it dies, or until you orgasm, XD. And you fucking awesome. It's so good to meet another person that likes this stuff. The first one, winking emoticon. And the first one was death. I love you, XD. So he's raping animals to death. That's the video file that they're sharing with each other. <sighs> let me move on gotta be really careful to make sure I look at every every single fucking one so that they're not um, not uh, horrible well they're horrible but at least there are no pictures included I've seen those they're amazing hey how long how young do you like the dogs newborn hey hey I like that a lot I absolutely love puppies. I've been hilt deep inside of a 12 year or 12 week old puppy. Three puppies have died on my cock. Uh, this is now back to the conversation with Ember. Just sneak her in. We'd have to. Oh, did I read this one? No. Just sneak her in. We'd have to drug her so she's docile anyway. Sleepy dog meds. What you drug her with? Oh, uh -oh. oh my. I knew you were darker than I initially thought. I didn't even bring any of this up first. Oh my. Do you like it? I do. I'm just surprised is all. Good. He <laughs> he. I've been wanting to be dark for a while. I'm sure we could find OTC over the counter. Dog medication for sleeping. If not, I have another method. Weed is legal along the west coast. We could feed her a bunch of edibles. So, you know, we're about... Let me let me double check this here. You know, we're maybe 15 screen caps in. And just to sum up what our friend Snake Thing here is into. Uh, the production of child pornography. Uh, the molestation of children in his household. Uh, sharing child pornography with his friends. Trying to get them involved in molesting his, his cousin, his nephew. Uh, raping animals to death. Uh, brutalizing newborn animals like puppies and kittens uh, trying to get together with people to adopt pets so they can basically fuck them to death is what these people are talking about holy oh, shit man uh, let me make sure this is turned off I, I've, there, there's an image in this one uh, there are a couple images in this one god that's fucking awful 
All right, I'll read this one. Uh, this is with Sephiroth. That was the person previously who said he liked to, he killed three dogs with his dick. Uh, playing so much with puppies, and it's a picture of him doing unspeakable things to a little puppy. Snake thing, you're amazing too. A great person with some amazing common likings. And oh my. And there's a another photo of a woman in high heels crushing a puppy to death. Oh my, you like crush? Yes. Strangling and more. So apparently these disgusting pieces of shit have uh, different methods that they enjoy for torturing and killing animals. Of course they would. I think this is... Oh, oh man. All right. Well, it's not graphic. It's a picture of a, a stick. It's just the description that's graphic. Uh, this is from another person in the group. Wolf, a wooden toy I used to fuck a virgin bitch. Honey was applied to a few hours before so that the fire ants would cover the toy. It was shoved into a virgin bitch pussy minutes later. Snake thing, I saw that. I love it. So just so you understand what this person is saying, they made a wooden stake and they covered it in honey to get fire ants on it. And then once it was covered in ants, they inserted it into a dog and then shared the video with other people in this group. You know, when I told you it gets darker and I told you that the people involved in this shit, it went way beyond what was initially talked about. You know, when we started this, it was Kiro fucking a dead deer carcass. And people were like, holy shit, that's fucked up. How could it get worse? Here you go. I mean, that's that's some shit that you'd see out of uh, a Saw movie. Like, that's a step beyond. I, I don't even I don't, I don't even know how to classify it. It's not just it's not just fucking and killing animals. It's they want to torture them. He devised a way to put ants inside a dog and watch it suffer. And then he shared that video with other people on the internet for his sexual amusement. And they're sharing this in this group. These people are sharing this shit with each other. It's uh, fucking awful, is what it is. I, I, I'm sorry to keep uh, jumping screens here on you. I, I just I have to be careful when I go through these and make sure that they're readable. We'll read two more screen caps, and then I'll, I'll read some comments, and we'll... We'll do a palate cleanser of something. I don't fucking know what. And then go into uh, more of this. Uh, give me one second. Let me grab a uh, sip here. Okay, I think these these should be fine to share. There are no pictures. Snake thing. I love puppies, XD. Wags, I agree. This is a conversation with Wolf now. Played with a four-month-old puppy yesterday, but only for a little while. He humped really nice and had a beautiful cock. Wish I could spend more time with him to take some pics. Oh? Did he mainly dom you, or did you dom him as well? I dommed him. But that was really quick. I was visiting someone and was left above with the pups for a few minutes while the owner was taking out his car. He could be a good dom with time. Oh, what do you do with him? Humped his muzzle? To start... I'd fully pull back his sheath and lick his fully exposed knot to then tie up with a cord and keep it hard for as long as I want. Then I'd play with his balls and tail hole. I'd restrain him and put a metal ring with duct tape in his mouth to make him lick my cock, whether he likes it or not. I could come in his mouth or eyes, play soft or hard with his balls and... This guy is fucking awful. I don't even know how I'd react to that. If I had somebody over at my place and I went out to the car to do something or run an errand and I came back and they were brutalizing my dog, I'd kill him. I would fucking murder the guy. I would throw him. I, I'd, I'd fucking kill him. Who, this, this, uh, do you think his friend knows what went on? You think his friend knows that this guy is like stalking his pet? He probably has no idea. Probably has no fucking clue that this piece of shit does this and is wants to take it further that he's going to torture this guy's puppy when he's not paying attention he's a fucking sociopath you know all smiles and cordial when somebody's there in the room with him but the moment the back is turned you know the, the moment he's alone with a victim he goes and does just horrific fucking things for his own amusement with no remorse 
it's just about self-gratification. He doesn't care about anything else. All right, we've got uh, one final one in this chain, and then, like I said, we'll uh, read some super chats and do a palate cleanser or something. All right, let's see. Uh, this is, again, continued with Wolf and Snake Thing. Morning Nymph. Uh, and they, they share a picture of some sort. Those pics are actually my own stuff from last weekend. Oh, damn, you're one lucky hell of a ba- or you're one hell of a lucky bastard. Lol, she has a tight pussy. Has or had giggles. She was a pit bull that I found last Friday, and was a virgin also. I removed her tits and inserted some in ass, others in pussy, then butt fucked ass to pussy, made her eat one or two of her tits. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I thought he misspelled this, but no, he's he means a bat. There was a video of a puppy. Okay. There's a video of an animal being assaulted with a baseball bat. He bat fucked her is what he means. Uh, her throat and ass and pussy. Snake thing. Oh, should have gotten a male doggo to rape her too. Always wanted to see some dog on dog rougher esque stuff before. Human intervention too with that in mind. Oh, damn. I want to see that. Had. Lol. And they share another video. Wow, I like that. Lol also chopped off her tail and used it to fuck her pussy. Amazingly, she was still standing after the bat fuck. Chopped off her head and then removed her pussy with the tail still inserted. Have you done something similar before? I actually think I recall you mentioning before you had a dog dick inside of a dog's head or something like that. Goddamn, very nice, would love to see that. And he shares a video of what, or a picture, I'm assuming, of what he described. Yeah, I do. I will show you a pic later, but it's only for you. Don't share it. Okay. Yeah, this is uh, this is what we're dealing with, chat. This is the shit that leaked. And it's a private conversation between a group of furries that I, I don't. May, uh, maybe the community knew they were like this. Maybe they didn't. But it's so far beyond, uh, you know, like a Mister Hands thing where some idiot gets fucked to death by a horse. Like this is pure evil, right? Like this is a super a cartoonish supervillain level of evil that they're involved in. It's just not one kind of degeneracy. It's everything. These people are soulless. They lack a fundamental part of what makes a person a human being. It's the, they get the satisfaction and gratification out of the torture and suffering of animals and children. And they revel in it. And they share it with each other. And they produce it for each other. It, it, that's the, the, probably the most fucked up thing about it. It's not just that they have access to that kind of material. It's they produce it and they egg each other on to do more of it. All right, uh, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to I'm going to grab a strong drink as we continue along on this. Put a little background music on. Everybody take a few minutes. Go use the bathroom if you need to use the bathroom. Get a strong drink yourself. I'll come back. I'll read some super chats, and we will continue along looking at uh, individuals involved in this. Uh, maybe throw in a palate cleanser video here or there. Uh, but let's say like two or three minutes. Uh, I'll put the song on from earlier. You know, I actually have a better song. I've got something I think more suitable. Give me a second. It'll take me a minute to find this. I think it captures the fucking mood, though. Um, I'm sure it's in restricted mode, but I don't care. Let me see if I can find it. Yep, that's in restricted mode. I think it's because of the video more than the song, but you can imagine. YouTube doesn't love it too much. All right. Um, yeah, let, me, let me put this up in case anybody just stumbles in and is like, why the hell is nobody talking? Uh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, go get a drink. Use the bathroom. Uh, we'll continue off in just a few minutes. The Groza Tank ist jetzt angebrochen. Deutschland ist nun erwacht.
Okay, we're back from our break. Hopefully that uh, is a nice little pause in between the screen caps we're reading through with the furry leaks that happened with Kiro and his group. Again, uh, just to recap for anybody just joining us late, uh, there were leaks from a social media service called Telegram involving a group of furries. Uh, one of them was somebody in the name of uh, Kiro the Wolf, who was a uh, semi-big, medium-sized, I guess, YouTube channel, 100,000 subs. And initially, he denied it. Said that super hackers from Iran had targeted him, uh, that he was completely innocent, that it was completely fake. <laughs> in fact, I think I still have this. Let me see if I still have this. Uh, Iran's statement in regards to Kiro blaming Iranian super hackers for setting this all up. تحریم های یک جانبه و نامشروع خود نوعی تروریزم اقتصادی و ناقض حق توسعه است جنگ اقتصادی که آمریکا تحت عنوان تحریم های تازه آغاز کرده نه تنها مردم ایران را هدف قرار داده بلکه آثار زیانباری برای مردم کشورهای دیگر داشته و در روند تجارت جهانی اخلال کرده است. A harsh but fair statement from uh, the president of Iran. I think everybody can agree. <laughs> uh, so he he blamed Iranian super hackers, even though apparently Telegram hasn't been available in Iran for eight months preceding the hack. Uh, also said all the screen caps are fake. None of it was true. A week later, recanted and said, okay, I wasn't hacked by Iranian super hackers. I made up that screenshot that I showed proving it. And I did, in fact, talk with these people, and I am into zoophilia. Uh, but everything else is fake. So his statement of, it was completely fake, 100% fiction, has now been walked back to, not only was he not hacked, but some of it is real. Give it a few more weeks, and we'll see where we are. Now, that was Kiro. And, you know, people thought it was bad enough because he was talking about having sex with dead animals and how much he enjoyed it. Uh, but the other people in the group, uh, people like Wolf and Snake Thing and uh, Glow Fox or Amber Wolf, all these, all these other people were into some really horrendous shit. Uh, torturing animals for their amusement. Uh, molesting children. Creating uh, videos of them doing both of these things. And we're, we're going through uh, information compiled from the leaks and what people have found. Uh, you know, if you want a more hands-on look at it, if you want to really dig through it yourself, uh, Kiwi Farms has a section, a subforum called Animal Control, uh, and in that subforum they are digging through it. Uh, but just be warned ahead of time that uh, there are graphic images, and a lot of the shit they discuss is pretty fucking horrendous. So buyer beware if you walk into that. Um, all right, let me catch up on. All right, I've, I've fallen behind. Forgive me. I'll, I'll catch up on the Super Chats and we will jump back into some more of this. Uh, maybe throw like a palate cleanser video in the middle before we go back into the horrific shit these disgusting non-people do. Again, I'm, I'm playing catch up from behind, so if some of the comments seem out of place, they are. All right. Okay. I, th I think this is where I left off. Uh, fuck me, Sally. They cackle like goddamn hyenas. Uh, this is talking about the two girls in the foam adventure video to kind of give you an idea of where we are on the stream. Uh, happy days, F. Miles Poland in Warhammer 40K. Vapiri, hack your 3DS, 3DS guide. Guns down, inhale. Jim, play some Dragon Quest Nine. I, I would love to play some video games right now to get this shit out of my mind. I probably will play some uh, some Fire Emblem after the stream. Switchy, Milo Yiannopoulos tweeted about getting AIDS. I, I don't know if that is that real. Well, he doesn't have a Twitter account. Does Milo Yiannopoulos have AIDS now? Is he HIV positive? Has he been given the gift of pause? I, I don't know. Dirt Pants, whoops, ask the same question in past Super Chats. If you ever go back, just ignore it. Have some cash for me being a shithead. Uh, Josh0718, what do you think of the McGregor fight? Yeah, I saw the, the brawl afterwards. I think that's bullshit. I mean, he leaped out of the fucking cage and attacked uh, McGregor's trainers, and then two people jumped in and jumped McGregor. It was 
stupid. R. Jeffrey 14, how are you feeling about DMC5, Jim? Playing Bloody Palace while listening so I don't have to look at the fur fags rolling in foam. P.S. Rip Boogie 1488. Hopefully DMC5 is good. I will have to hold judgment until I actually can demo it or see a, a full-fledged review. Uh, Bomb Ocean, what's scariest about the furry community is it's like Hollywood 2. There's obviously a hierarchy of zoo files that is going on, and only now is it being brought up. I agree. I agree. I think more people are aware of this shit, and they're just not saying anything. McLovin, McLovin, your voice makes me wet. Congrats on 20k viewers. Uh, thanks to the watchers viewing the stream, who probably regret it now after listening to this fucking disgusting shit for the last hour. Cosmic Dorgarin, test... <laughs> test kill nigers you put a little you put a little uh a little wave above that so spelling it differently but yes it did get past google noble knights will never be good jim if i take my hat or if i take your hat off will you die i uh, know i will not james binnick when the fur cost begins do we make lampshades from human skin or fur suits uh 50 50 it's up to you Page Fault, how about these YouTubers suffering from Shill Shekel, Shin- <laughs> Shil Shekel Syndrome? I recommended better help, but got turned down for some odd reason. It is strange, isn't it? The Corporate Moose, Jim, I am disappointed that you haven't had uh, haven't named any of your video streams more than one way to skin a furry. Maybe next time. Nandato, what kind of Asian is Jade? I recall you saying it before, and it sounded like Chinese with a mix of something. Uh, Chinese Hmong, yes. Skinhead Stan, Jim, only degenerate Dublin gypsies drink Karkov. Karkov is delicious, Stan. Uh, it is it is good for what it does. It doesn't have to taste great. Anonymous Crap, I can't wait for the furry liberalists to shake things up. Real change is coming. Oh, I'm sure they're going to read lock and talk about their feelings. Dan, okay, crush these furries like Boogie on V. Dollar from Joe. Thank you, Joe. TKA198, living in San Francisco, I hope the collective Kavanaugh screeching feeds you as it does me. If not, here's some money for your plastic bottle vodka. Uh, well, yeah, no, I enjoyed the reaction to Kavanaugh. I saw the protests that were in St. Louis and in Washington, and it was funny. Irving Irving C.S. Salzburg. Jim, ignore these path- er, pathetic based furries trying to get out of this by giving you super chats. You need to go scorch earth on these mongoloids. Sean Turner. When did this become cringe compilation stream? Xanadu, Xanadu is bored. I'm late to the party. What did I miss? Well, you, you put this up an hour ago, so you didn't miss much because we went over we went over snake thing. Salty pickle, what's with the uh, what's with these nigh googers? Uh, well, I I don't know. You know, I, I I can tell you this: in the Kiwi Farms threads, uh, a good majority have been doxxed, and uh, you can see what they look like if you want to go take a look. Vanton, I wonder what things do you really like. I like video games, I like anime, uh, and uh, I'm, I'm a, a fucking weeb. Uh, Venom Akuma, you said you like Xenogears. Have you played the last, uh, have you played the two Xenosaga or three Xenoblade games? If not, you should really, uh, they're really good, especially Xenoblade X. Well, there, there were three Xenosaga games. Uh, the first one of which was actually pretty good. But then they took the, the last two were shit because it was supposed to be six games but they didn't have the budget or the time anymore so they took fucking five games and condensed them down into two and each of those two games was like 20 hours long so the first game is 40 hours long the the last two are only 20 apiece and they've condensed five games worth of you know world building and lore and mechanics all into that i didn't i did not enjoy the last two xeno saga uh games I think I think you transpose that. I think you meant three Xeno Saga, two Xeno Blade. Maybe I'm wrong. I, I don't know. My mind is not really here right now after the snake thing, so forgive me. Make Station Wagons great again. Make Station Wagons great again. Damn it. Uh, Sergeant Scotty, people are reading Culture of Critique. Definitely Lex. Donga no furry. Donga skinwalker. Sir Blast, Jim, you know that furry will do something stupider that will cover the skeptics. My estimation for your skeptic stream is a year from now. Triskel and Memester, you heard about that chick who wrote a lava lamp and had a con in the lobby? I do not believe if I've heard of a woman... <laughs> no, I, I don't think I'm familiar with that one. 
I've heard of the chick that smells awful. And I've heard of a few other con stories like Tumbles the Stair Dragon, who was another, or not another, Kenneth Scaly, who tried to commit suicide at a convention by throwing his fat ass down like three stairs. And then he sat on the ground crying and wailing because nobody gave a shit. Five from Just Mike. Thank you, Just Mike. Uh, we'll read like five more of these and jump back in. Uh, Johnny X2 loves him. Get Streamlabs fag. I want to donate on my main. DJ Diddler. So the official list of degenerates goes furries, bronies, weebs. Am I missing anyone? You're missing quite a lot. There's a much bigger list. 1999. Please say, go uh, oh, I see. You want me to say goy? I'll say goy for you, 1999. Shoko Bushu. This reminds me of the anime conventions I used to go to. It's why I stopped going. By the way, play Devil Survivor 2. It's tough as shit. And finally, Finchy Bird. I want Princess Celestia to piss in my mouth. Well, that's a that's a good place to jump back into it. I, I know there are a lot more Super Chats. I will get to them. I'm trying to space everything out evenly so we can continue on with uh, this horrendous shit. And, um, yeah. <laughs> it's awful. I'll be honest with you. In fact, let me let me let me see if I can find a palate cleanser. Let's find a video to play in between this. Since that guy mentioned free cringe, let's see if there's a good free cringe video. Oh, uh, it's all so awful. It's just so goddamn awful. But we will go through and take a look. <laughs> Actually, there was a video. Uh, let me see if I can find this. Um, to show you that furries have been ruining shit for a really long time. Yeah, here we go. Okay, uh, this is called Art 1992. And I'm going to assume that it's from 1992. I mean, you could tell from the quality of the tape. And it looks like it was a television show. Like an antiques roadhouse, kind of, or whatever the fuck it's called, a road show. Uh, with art, where people could call in and bid on art pieces. And I just want you to take a look what happens when a furry gets involved. So, all these people are selling art to an audience on television. But one furry gets involved. And let's take a look at the shit that he wants to sell. Let me, let me put this up on screen. Window capture. There we go. Gallery 33 has been underwritten by Hamilton Bank. WITF-TV proudly presents the work of Central Pennsylvania's artists and craftspeople offered for your consideration on Gallery 33. Now, live from our studio and ready for your bidding, in support of public broadcasting, the Gallery 33 collection. Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the WITF... Are you all excited for some art? Let's see where this goes. Thank you all very much for being here, and welcome to the 1992 edition of Gallery 33, this annual event when we celebrate the richness of the artistic talent of the South Central Pennsylvania area. The next item, number 71. It is a watercolor titled Surfacing by Brian Smith. <laughs> Dimensions 19 inches wide and 24 inches high. Brian Sword's work sells absolutely marvelously here on Gallery 33. His cartoon characters are delightful. Could you imagine Grandma watching this? He lets us each imagine whatever we'd like to with these things. These two rats are jumping up out of the water. And they are having a good time. They and sure that are. item number is 71. It is a watercolor titled Surfacing by Brian Swords of York, 19 by 24, with an assigned value of $75. The next item, number 592, is a photograph. Item number 71, the watercolor titled Surfacing by Brian Swords of York. It has an assigned value of $75 and the current posted bid, $50. Item number five from Sharon Foster of Marysville. Item number 71, a watercolor titled Surfacing by Brian Swords. The high bid is $75 from Michael Yelsick of York. Item number five... 
Item 70, watercolor sheets and pillows. You all know him, Brian Swords of York. This piece is 19 inches wide and 24 high. Barbara. And once again, Brian has sent us another piece that we know is going to sell like hotcakes. His work is just admired and collected by lots and lots of people. It's the kind of a thing where you read it for what it says to you. Very delightful. Very and good. everyone enjoys it. It's item number 70, watercolor what sheets and pillowcases by Iron Swords of York. Again, 19 inches wide, 24 high. The assigned value, $75. Item 212, mixed media. It's untitled. Robert Wallace of Liverpool. And this piece is 12 inches wide, 10 inches high. The artist explains to us... ...is awaiting the minimum bid of 37 Item 70, the watercolor sheets and pillowcases by Brian Swords of York. This piece is 19 inches wide, 24 high. It has a $75 assigned value, awaiting the minimum bid of $25. Item 212, by Bonnie Razor of Carlisle. Item number 70, a watercolor titled Sheets and Pillowcases. How much would you bid for that, chat? How much would you pay for that? By Mike Sprout of York Haven. Item 734 next, a watercolor titled The Smell of Wet Fur by Brian Swords of York. It's 24 inches wide and 18 inches high. Now this is another in the continuing series by Brian Swords of his very amusing uh, drawings and paintings of um, rats in unusual circumstances. In this case, the smell of wet fur, two in a hot tub, obviously enjoying the evening. And what more can possibly be said? <laughs> the smell of wet fur is a watercolor. It's item number 734. It's by Brian Swords of York. It's 24 inches wide, 18 inches high, with an assigned value of $75. Item number 464. 734 is the next item. It's a watercolor. It's titled The Smell of Wet Fur by Brian Swords of York, with an assigned value of $75 and a current bid of $60. And lastly, the item Holy shit, man. Oh, this guy, Brian Swords, he, he's, he's just he's shoving it right down their throat, isn't he? The high bid is $77 from an anonymous bidder. And item 464... Item number 735 is uh, watercolor Stay Up Late by Brian Swords of York. It's 24 by 18 inches. Well, Brian's work began, the Biohazard series began as a, a statement about brutality to uh, experimental animals and has developed into a whole scene of these, these rather unusual rats involved in all types of normal human activity. <laughs> this normal human activity needs very little description. All right, that's 735, the watercolor Stay Up Late by Brian Swords of York, and the assigned value is $75. And those are the items that we have. No, we have uh, 650 here, don't we? And we currently have a $30 bid. Holy shit, man. We have stayed up late. This is item number 735, the watercolor Stay Up Late by Brian Swords of York. And uh, our current bid is uh, $60. And that's it. Now, this is going to be your last chance to see these items. And bidding will close very soon. So call back often as you like. But get in now. That's it from Area C. The assigned value is $100. And I hold in my hand the last piece of art. <laughs> Item number 69, a watercolor titled Exchanging Fluids by Brian Swords of York. The dimensions are 24 inches wide by 19 inches high. <laughs> and this is really, we were saying, kind of a companion piece to the Brian Swords piece that we had up on the table previously. Uh, actually, this one should have come up first, and that should have been the later piece. <laughs> well, been on both, right? <laughs> and anyhow, it also is self-explanatory. Holy shit, man. Gallery 33 is item number 69, a watercolor titled Exchanging Fluids by Brian. Brian sure, uh, he's sure been busy with those uh, pieces of art for the fucking community. <laughs> oh my god, that's so fucked up. Okay, well, you know, yeah, that, that'll work. That'll work as a palate cleanser, I think, Chad. I just, could you imagine your grandmother at, like, I don't know, 11 at night, turns on, like, some PBS equivalent channel in her hometown, and she's watching two male rats fuck each other and make out, and the people are bidding for it. Oh, fuck. Sorry, my throat hurts a little. I was laughing. 
I had to mute myself a few times there. Yeah, that's uh, that's uh, that's different. That is something different. I'll give them that. Okay, let me let me go back and see if we can. Oh God, the pictures. Please, okay, that's off. Good. Go back to animal control here. Uh, where was the other guy? Was it Glow Fox? I think that might have been him. I think, no, we've done Glow Fox. Maybe it was Ember Wolf was the other one. Keeping track of all these fucking people's names. It's always some kind of wolf. Okay. So it looks like Ember Wolf was the one that was discussing uh, with Snake Thing, that was a person we were previously looking at, about sedating animals to rape them. So let me let me see what we got here. Oh, you have to give me a minute. I'm just scrolling through here. And no, I think I read him last week. Oh, uh, yeah, I did read this one last week. This is the Floor 21 incident. That, uh, for those unfamiliar, this was a, a party where a couple of furries got high on, like, meth and stripped naked and then beat people up. They're, like, throat-punching people. And apparently it's referred to as the Floor 21 incident at BLFC 2017, which both uh, Ember Wolf and... Chadbla attended, which were two people like that are named in these leaks. Holy shit. Alright. I could have sworn there was more stuff dedicated to Wolf. I might be wrong. Yeah, and no, we did go over Glow Fox. That was the one, too, that was the uh, drug-facilitated sexual assault of a minor, pedophilia, zoophilia, sex trafficking. This was the guy that talked about slave rings. Oh, I forgot to mention that. Yeah, on the third one we did the stream, uh, it wasn't just child molestation and, you know, killing animals and making child pornography for each other. Uh, they also talked about, like, selling kids, buying and selling children for sex. Oh, man, these fucking people. Uh, let me see. I, I think that actually brings it up to date um, yeah so that'd be that's uh, Amber Wolf Glow Fox Snake Thing uh, Kiro and Wolf were, were the five main names that came out of it there were a few more people but there's not a lot of info on them at the moment and I wanted to be able to go over it um, I was going to do a video uh, dedicated to it but I, I just I figured a stream would be better um and I'm sure there's more information that's going to come out. I mean, here, here's the reality. When the leaks first came out, people said it's fake. They, 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 you know, circled the fucking wagons and decried that it's completely fake, it's completely fictitious and made up. But within a week, they were admitting to it. They're admitting, yeah, we had conversations. Yeah, we use that messaging service. Yeah, we're into this. So the more time that goes on, the more information that comes out, the more pressure that's applied... It, it doesn't look like it's fake, especially after Kiro admitted that he wasn't hacked and admitted that he did talk to people and he did have interests that were, you know, similar to this. They're looking for the best angle they can take. I mean, that's really what it is. These people want to be able to say, um, yeah, I'm fucked up and I do screw up things, but it's not that bad. They, they, they want to try to back it up just enough so you don't want to kill them. But with the amount of shit they talked about, I mean, where's that line? Well, I mean, you're talking about people raping dogs to death, killing puppies, and doing horrific things and mutilating animals for their own sexual gratification. You're talking about people making child pornography, molesting children, and talking about buying and selling kids. Like, there, there's no limit to the shit that these people do. And, the, you know, the thing that they're all messaging each other on this fucking Telegram service, and this is just one leak. I mean, this leak only pertained to, like, eight or nine people. I, I think there were, like, an additional, like, 20 that were kind of related. But who knows how many are like this? Who knows how many groups are out there that are into this shit? I mean, you, you, you can look at the fucking sites that furries use, and you can get a gauge for the user base that are on them. Go look at Fur Affinity or Ink Bunny, and look at all the fucking diaper furs, and all the really weird shit they write. I mean, it's, it's pervasive within their community. And it seems to be the sort of thing that's just kind of 
slithered its way in deeper and deeper and taken more of a hold. So, I mean, who fucking knows what two weeks from now is going to look like or a month from now is going to look like or if another fucking leak hits or if more fucking shit comes out. And I can't show you a lot of this stuff. Um, you know, a lot of stuff involving what they were doing to animals, the videos and pictures. And even if those particular videos and pictures weren't made by them, they're still exchanging them and talking about making their own. It's just horrendous fucking stuff. Just horrendous stuff. I don't know, chat. Am I getting old? <clears throat> have, I, have I become the eternal boomer, chat? Is that what the problem is? Uh, am I not edgy enough for the internet anymore? I mean, I think there is a certain line when you get a group of fucking mascot-wearing retards that want to rape and kill animals and molest children. I mean, I think that maybe is a point most people could commonly agree on that's probably a bridge too far uh, that most people would find repugnant and have an issue with. Uh, you know, this isn't uh, this isn't them playing it up for a laugh. I mean, this is shit that they're into. This is shit that they're really excited about. Yeah, a lot of people saying they deserve to rot. Uh, they should die. Uh, yeah, it, it, you know, I, I don't think I'm alone here in saying that um, these people are fucking awful. They're just they're fucking awful human beings. And I, I really don't pity them. Whatever blowback they get from this, I don't fucking feel bad for it at all. Uh, you know, and the other thing too is, who knows what else they were into, right? Like, I mean, if that's the shit they're talking about casually, could you imagine what they themselves think is so fucked up they don't mention? Like, if that's the stuff they're open about, imagine the shit they're keeping close to the vest. You know, it, it's a fucked up thought, but these fucking people, man. Uh, yes, they are. They are really awful. I, I will give you that, chat. They are. They are fucking terrible. Okay, uh, where do where do we take it from here? Because I, I think I've yeah I've gone over snake thing. Did glow fox amber wolf? Uh, we talked about. Fucking Ashley backing away. Uh, let's see. We talked about that. I mean, I think that covers a majority for now. If if there's more logs that dump in the next couple of weeks, if there's more shit that comes out, you know, I'll talk about it later on. But I, I just wanted to put this forward again because I think the internet has forgotten why we used to hate furries, and I think maybe we need to remember why we fucking hated them. And. Uh, if the furry community itself isn't going to exert some force and pressure on the people doing this, then maybe the, the you know, outsiders uh, need to do that and step in and, and, and pick up that slack uh, by, by shitting on fur fags again, uh, you know, by bringing back the old mentality of how to deal with these people. They've all segregated themselves onto their own specialized sites where they can just kind of echo chamber each other and talk about how this is acceptable and this is the end result, is they, they don't think it's wrong. I mean, they think it's okay. They're fine with it, man. They're, they're going to keep doing this crazy, weird, fucked up, degenerate shit. So, I, I guess that's where I'll leave it. I should have ended strong. I should have saved Art 92 for later. That is my fault. Uh, okay. We, we have a lot of super chats. I, I will read through them. We've gone about two hours here. I, I think that's fair for what I wanted to cover. Mostly with Snake Thing, though, because that guy is, uh, that guy's something else. Let me, how do I do this? Where is this here? No, that's not what I wanted. I will read through the Super Chats now. Uh, everybody that came out to watch the stream and hear about how awful furries were, uh, there you go. We've went through the bulk of it. Again, if more comes out later, I will read through it. Uh, but that will probably conclude the stream for today. Uh, anybody that did a super chat, I will read through them and answer and talk back and forth. And I will work my way through those. But the, the main part of the stream is done, so if you've got shit to do, if you want to go drink yourself into a coma, if you want to go hug your fucking pets, uh, go go for it. Uh, we're, we're finishing up now. Uh, thanks to everybody that tuned in. Hopefully it was eye-opening. Hopefully it showed you what the fuck is going on in this community. 
and uh, <laughs> that people like this are irredeemable, uh, that these kinds of people exist, they're out there, and uh, they almost feel untouchable. And if nobody dropped the, the logs, nothing would have came out. All right, let me let me find my spot here. I will read through these. We, we've got a lot of them, but I, you know I'll try to make it through all of them. And uh, again, it's it's far behind, but uh, you know I will catch up. Uh, so to everybody jumping off, thank you for joining. Have a Sunday fun day. Next weekend we'll be back to the skeptics, and hopefully moved on for the fur fags yet. Hopefully no more of these fucking people have their shit dumped, and we don't have to read through more chat logs of them torturing animals and raping kids. Fingers fucking crossed. All right, let me pull this up and we'll jump into it. From Captain Jackass, you, Dick Masterson, and Ralph have replaced TV for me. Uh, I, I don't really watch TV myself. I mostly watch shit online. I understand the sentiment. I, I watch a lot of stuff on YouTube, some stuff on Twitch occasionally. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat's going on me. Uh, but yeah, I haven't watched TV in fucking forever. Your boy Black Weeb, the furry's natural enemy, is a shower. Tabby296, why don't you have a seat? Uh, thank you, Mr. Hansen. Mr. Suck My Balls 32, Donga. Oh, okay. Gotta do the voice. Donga mad. Jim no wrestle wrestle Donga. Donga run out of fire water. Donga wrestle wrestle Jim. For Jim, Zoomer Groomer tribe fire water. Stood in the fire, glitched puppet and crew when. Got a divorce, but the squad all legally changed their last names to match. Zalius, has the FBI party van been alerted about the child trafficking abuse? I believe law enforcement has been alerted, uh, at least in the case of two of them. Uh, some of them are out of the country, so I don't know how it works in other countries. I, I don't know if uh, people have been contacted or if the people that were contacted can even do anything about it. Just Mike, faggy bizarro world. Jelly Blob, thanks for keeping up on the drama so I don't have to. Why, or why YouTube, why? Congrats on A, helping Soygon humiliate himself, and B, being the first person to make me throw up in my mouth from a YouTube video. There's an integral, uh, integrally, <laughs> integrally, I can't say it, integrally, <laughs> holy shit, my mind is fucking dying on me. There's an integral suppressed 22LR with Kiro's name on it. You know what I was trying to say? I'm sorry. It's you read enough about what these people do, and it throws you a little off your game. Uh, Vika Risa, does furries having sex count as bestiality, thus being illegal? Press 1 in chat if so. All right, well, Vika wants to know, chat, if uh, furries fucking each other counts as bestiality. If you think that's true, press 1 in the chat. Give uh, give Vika a 1. Uh, code guy, it looks like a suicide emoji next to a crying face. Mob Tech, continue to expose these ultra degenerates. I'm now 1488 and shopping for KZ Landline or Land Online. Azura Kaizen, as someone who has been in the Phantom since 2012, please burn the furry Phantom into ash. I thought they could be redeemed, but they don't want to be. Zimmerman's black friend, I know you crossed the border to get cigarettes, mind or <laughs> mind stokuck, but here's the real amount to show some smokes. Much love from the one true Dakota. J. Some asked how deep this rabbit hole goes. We need to ask a zoo sadist. Who else would know how deep the rabbit hole goes? I don't think a zoo sadist would be measuring the depth. I think they'd be hunting for a victim if you ask them about rabbit holes. Uh, but I get your point, Jay. Crooksy Bear, uh, the Dishonored Wolf on YouTube has a, er, had an online sexual relationship with a 14-year-old, then had fans shame and blame her into not wanting to report it. I'm not familiar with who that. You know, let's take a look. Uh, the Dishonored Wolf. Let's see what we're talking about here. I, I don't know a lot of the <clears throat> names of YouTubers that are in the furry fandom, but we'll take a look. All right, Dishonored Wolf, uh, 104,000 subs. But how am I going to find... Uh, well, I'll tell you what, um, what was it? Crixy Bear uh, tweeted at me. At we was Mediker, I the, the account is obviously banned right now, but I can still read things that are tweeted at me. R like tweet me, tweet me the backstory on this, where I could look it up. Uh, Gehagen too, 
Put on all the single furries, Jim. Don't be a coward. There's no cock like horse cock, and your asshole into shock. Did you see Cyberpunk 2077? Uh, yeah, it looks good. Ran K, super triggered. Is this the exposure therapy? Uh, yes, it is. You need to know they exist so you can deal with them. From Non, please bully Dami Pesos into making more Soyless Mad episodes. It's been a long and depressing month without it. I really like the Soyless Mad show. I think uh, Dami is funny, so hopefully he does make more. John 14, we're going to need hard evidence of some of these claims, Jim. I demand it for Cav, and I'll demand it for this. Loving the stream otherwise. Uh, if you want to go to Animal Control on Kiwi Farms and watch videos of people fucking dogs to death, hit them up. Wasser, I'm see, uh, I see red. No, it's fire. Give her the D. Idiots compromised my card today. Had to send the super chat a different way. Enjoy. The Joe Blow Show. Skeptics dead. Furries dead. Boulder holders dead. If you're going to solve a problem, you should only have to solve it once. Hashtag final. The Deconian Chronologue. There is a uh, there is the dark web and there is the abyss web. WTS? How do people turn into these things? How do we intensify purging? I think it's uh, multiple factors. If you want an honest answer, I, I think it's partially to blame on the internet. Well, uh, a majority to blame on the internet. I, I, you get people that have really weird interests, and you know, pre-internet, they'd be segregated, and so they wouldn't really pursue that right? Because there's no feedback loop. There's no group giving them uh, the thumbs up and saying, it's okay. But with the internet, people that are into like this really deviant, degenerate shit can all hook up with each other. And then it becomes a big echo chamber where they tell each other, it's okay. What we're doing is okay. It's normal. See, there are other people that are into it too. And it reinforces that behavior in them. And so they'll go and segregate into these little enclaves where nobody can get in to tell them otherwise. It just reinforces itself over and over, and it grows and grows and grows, and the behavior becomes more and more extreme. That would be my best guess at it. Red Zeno, 10th Crusade, anybody? The realist nigga. Has anyone even called the cops yet? How are these fucks not in jail with all this evidence? How is the furry fandom so willing to turn an eye? Uh, again, from what I'm aware of, the police have been notified. I, I don't know what their investigation is doing at the moment. A dwarf Lord, what's the level above Exterminatus? Can we give a Thanos just snaps all furries away? Mechazard, the Looney Tunes were a mistake. Yeah, I blame it, I blame it on Bugs Bunny too. SS, so we must execute Exterminatus. Spencer Callows, Jim, get the gas, get it now. Solid stake, we can't expect God to do all the work. Click, click. James Kosh, cover these sick pedophiles in fish guts and throw them into a cage with a polar bear. Not a bad suggestion. The ghost, Jim, please say, I am the furry slayer. Spencer 15, press G to gas. Proud Ornstein, does this leaker, sh uh, does this leaker know these subhumans? If so, has he reported any of this to the authorities? Uh, actually, I, I believe there's... A, okay, let me see if I can find this here. Uh, give me one moment. Uh, well, you know what? While I'm doing that, I'll, I'll read these because they're bigger ones. Uh, Yu Yang Huang... I probably butchered your name. Atheists, Satanists don't exist. It is made up by Christians to scare people into God. But the atheists are infiltrated by Satanists all along. Furries are the Juden Satanist product. This is people without any fear of God or moral character. Max postmodernism. I would not be surprised if they were uh, all atheists, to be honest with you. Uh, they don't seem to have any religious compunction or moral compunction about what they're doing. And for Vintage Chuckle, Hey Jim, thank you for the laughs and the cringe. Enjoy some of my life savings, you Negro Jew. Uh, thank you very much. Now, as to what, uh, what was it again? What did he say? Let me see if I can find this exactly. Uh, let's see. Oh, the leaker. That's what I was going to look up. Okay. Uh, the leaker did release a statement about this. So let me see if I can find this. I just want to make sure I get the right one here. Might be in this one. All right. Uh, well, this is a statement from them. I, I believe. I think this is the leaker one. Let me put it up. Uh, give me give me one second to get it on screen. Okay. 
Uh, first, Snake Thing was not the whistleblower. The people responsible for gathering these logs were zoo files, trying to weed out those that would cause harm to animals. Insert long-winded debate about having sex with animals here. Regardless of your feelings on that, everyone hates when animals are tortured for fun, zoo, fur, or both. How do we obtain the logs? Let's just say they are from Snake Thing's account, and he was not turning them over. The technical jargon is rather dry. Snake Thing was a key organizer of the zoo sadist, and had foiled our efforts in the past to eject the animal abusers from our communities. It caught up to him, and that is where the leverage came from. <clears throat> The interest behind releasing what we did was to inform the furry community that these are uh, these bad apples. Perhaps the methodology was flawed, but our options were limited. There were no vendettas. So it seems like uh, a group of furries that were into their own kind of fucked up shit. Uh, even for them, these people were were too much. So even even amongst them, they were like, "This is this is too much," and they they got the information. Uh, Iranian super hacker style and released it to the public. Okay. Uh, hopefully that answers some of your questions. From Waxigan, God's wrath is set aside for furries? Anita Thinkwan isn't Rags a furry. I wonder if he disavows. I, I don't know if anybody's even asked him or if he's aware of it. DJ Diddler, is there a way to get these fuckers in jail or prison or something? I'd like to see these cunts behind bars all the shit for all the shit that they have done. William Burner, perhaps the Abrahamic faiths were right. Maybe it's time for a purge, a cleansing. We seem to be living in an open air insane asylum. Jim, I would call you a niger, but I'm too depressed. Well, that is a after effect of dealing with these people. Uh, depression is common uh, when reading sort of this sort of shit. Uh, Devok, I miss Comrade Stalin. We need another purge. Elysian, the burned furs were right. Furry kebabs now. Rando number nine, degenerates like these belong on a cross. From Terry Cole, STFG, the only reason I won't off myself now is there's no, uh, there's only one of me. Versus many of them. I just gotta hold out, that's all. Gotta stay strong for the Sweetie Squad, right boss? You gotta keep the faith, Terry. Joey Jojojo, jo, the only cure for degenerates like this is the BFG. This is beyond the fucking pale. They are freaks. Uh, these freaks are inhuman. Rip and tear. Rip and tear the furries. Matt O'Donnell, you are doing a huge public service by exposing this. Phoenix76, that is soul crushing of a job. Uh, he's talking about the police officers earlier when we were speculating what it must be like to have that kind of job. And read through this sort of shit. Electric Boogaloo V2, I don't think it's possible to express my rage at these degenerates. Stuff's 100 justifiable homicide on snake thing. Regex Rex. Jim, when are you going to start up the death squads? Uh, I'm busy with the sweetie squads at the moment. HCRTU. There's something that adds a whole new level to the generates, uh, to these chat logs. The emoticons and chat speak they use. I just took a nude of my nephew. X3. I bet you like them. Ooh. It's creepy. Yeah, it is. Howard Welsh. This is what happens when you let an infection fester. Just like an infection, it needs to be burned before it's treated. Nandato, gas, gas, gas. I'm going to step on the gas. Tonight I'll fly and be your lover. <laughs> Omanthus, uh, the only cure for this kind of degeneracy is a bullet between the eyes. Sammy D, there was a point where the shitstorm was amusing and entertaining to watch, but it's not really funny anymore. Obscenely blatant and disgusting. Uh, that is true. Uh, these people are horrific. Spike Strat 13, get the pitchforks and torches. Virus Chan, there's no escaping the cleansing fire, eat, or er, ear juice. There was a YouTube ad on Social Blade for a preteen girl practicing gymnastics. Lots of views, disgusting comments, lots of similar suggested videos. Uh, I know what Social Blade is. I've got ad blocker on, so I don't really, like when it comes to YouTube advertisements uh, on YouTube itself or even ads anywhere else, I, I don't see it. I mean, I use no script and ad block. Uh, Elysian, burn first right. Oh, already read that one. Z115ZT, white is right and white is loving. Stick those furries back in the oven. B98K, Finnegan, press one to gas all furries. Uh, there you go, chat. B98K, Finnegan, wants you to press one if you want to gas the furries. Gabriel, Montreal, uh, have, have your furries been sprayed or neutered? Kenneth Caniff, there's a lot you can do with a hatchet and a furry. 
kick night. When are we calling the exterminatus on this plague? I mean, we do need another rainforest gone wrong for sex or I mean, do we need another rainforest gone wrong or gone sexual for people to wake up? Uh, for those unfamiliar, I believe rainforest was the furry convention where they were like throwing shit filled diapers everywhere and just making a mess and the hotel had enough of them. Syphilis Penguin, Jordan Hunt kicked a pro-life woman. Oh, you're talking about that guy. Is that the retard that did like a spin kick to some chick's head because she was uh, pro-life and he didn't like it? Sir Musalot, Jim, this is, the, uh, this is for the inevitable therapy you'll need after delving into this degeneracy. Daniel Smith, beat that terminal throat herpes you got from sucking furry cock. Tech Coyote, as a furry, these people disgust me beyond belief. Karanak, like V's mom, mother of a furry in a commie country. Mika Romani, you're going to turn me into an alcoholic with a stream, Jim, but keep up the good work. Skin these degenerate cunts alive. Oh, scroll down a little. There we go. Uh, Eddie Jagsos Gluskin, they do not have gills, so what is their purpose? That's a, that's a deep question. I'm not sure. My foreskin is missing. I've always wanted a furry lampshade. I bet it would smell horrendous, especially once the light bulb heated it up. The Anime Alliance, this crap's gay bro. Don't read my name aloud, jerk. Too late, Anime Alliance. I've already done it twice now. Uncle Kishner, S.A. Jim, you er, Jim, you even want to do a vid on something awful since you used to be a goon too. Are you? Uh, do I want to do a vid on something awful? I don't know what's the state of something awful at this point. Like I, I, I mean, I've heard you know, Low Tex has struck me as the kind of guy that wants to return to what the internet used to be, where you could just laugh at anybody. But I, I think even his own forum is so up his ass about making jokes. I, I don't know what the state of it is anymore. I'd have to go and like read through the forums and browse it for like a month to get a good fucking opinion on where it is. Uh, Jay Isel, this ain't cheap, Chief. Troy Fowler, you like a Disgaea Jimbo. Also, had a furry at my high school, full on foxtail and ears at school, lol. Ah, uh, yeah, Disgaea is good. Sarah H, people are marching and protesting for a fake rape from the 80s, and this shit's happening right now. 2018, everybody. From the realest nigger again. Inspector General Report, Hillary Clinton and Foundation Crime Against Children. What the fuck? I'm starting to believe QAnon fags. Smelly in real life. Please make your goal to enact a furry holocaust. A hopeless semantic. Ich weiß sie Deutsch Conan, which I probably butchered, but hopefully somebody can puzzle it together and figure out what that was supposed to be. MS, uh, MS Dead Shark. This is so gross and depressing. The foam holes were enraging, but these degenerates are inhuman and evil. Cheeky Caramel Bunny 74. Daddy Jim, my birthday is on Tuesday. Please say happy birthday in your sexy voice. Well, happy birthday. Cheeky Carmel Bunny 74. Mr. GFY, guess de furries mine aunt furrer. The Dokian chronolog, or chronolog, <laughs> the Dacian chronolog. There we go. I pray Elon Musk will build Liberty Prime. You and me both. Zephanorius, if I recall correctly, you mentioned you were majoring in education once upon a time before switching. Was there a particular reason you changed? Good work for exposing pedos and furries. Uh, my issue with the educational system was well, a lot of issues, but the reality of it is there's a certain keystone, there, there are certain milestones, right, touchstones in a child's life when it comes to their education, where if they're not at the same level everybody else is at, they're never going to do well. I, that's the cold, hard reality of it. Like third and fourth grade, if they're not reading at the same level as their classmates, if they're having trouble with that, like spelling, reading, that kind of shit... Uh, it's going to be really difficult for them in junior high and high school, <clears throat> all the way up to college. So my problem was, what I saw, is we had a bunch of kids that, I mean, there was one kid that would write shit backwards. There's another kid that could not spell anything. Uh, there was one kid that couldn't, just couldn't read. And they're all, you know, they're just kids, right? And so, you know, talking to administration, is like, well, maybe we can do like an after school thing. Uh, you know, myself and others, we can volunteer and try to help them because if they don't, if they don't get to this level they need to be by the end of the school year, they're going to be fucked, you know, for the rest of their life. And the answer I received was no, it's not important. Uh, all we're interested in is passing a certain amount of kids of a certain skin type. And that's really that's the f straight up what I was told. So we need to pass this many blacks, this many Asians, this many whites. And we can't risk fucking the metrics up because it will be a problem for our, our district. 
um, they were more interested in paying out. I think at the time they had like a deal where they bought $10 million in iPads and spent another $5 million with a tech company to put like software on it. So you're spending like $15 million for a couple of schools to get the kids fucking iPads and they can't even read a book. And it, like the more people I talked to that were in education, the more similar stories I started to hear. And I just couldn't do it. I'm not going to go into a profession where it's just metric based. They don't give a shit. You know, kids are kids. They should all have an equal opportunity to do well later in life. And if you don't put the effort in, you know, early on when they're young, they're not going to do well later on. And so you've got to really put in the effort, especially at the elementary level. And they just didn't give a shit. It was just a metric. It's a tick on a box to them. You know, we're just going to pass him so we look good and he's next year's problem. And the problem is next year's problem becomes the year after that and the year after that. And by the time they, they in high school, uh, they're fucking illiterate and they can't write. They can't do math. They don't know science. And their whole life is fucked up and it's everybody else's problem. So there you go. That's your answer. It was just depressing. Okay. Uh, LEP, press R to revive Hitler. Ryan Tobridge, gay. Gaz, this reminds me of this schmorky shit show. I, you know, I was going to do a fucking... Yeah, I might still do this. I was going to do a stream with Lotex where we went over the history of Smorky. And I might do that because it fits in well with this. Uh, Christ724, I can now understand what Stalin's purges were really about. Stalin did nothing wrong. Send in the tanks. Dwarf Lord, Furica, or Furrow Cost, when? Uh, the White Boar, Wheel is... Okay. <laughs> Maybe if you're gonna if people are gonna dog a post, put like a little asterisk in the front of it so I know to get in voice for it. But uh, here we go. Wheel is strong and donga, like running buffalo. Jim be weak, like smoking camel. And my voice is going out. So it's not even a good donga. The naughty avocado, long on rope, short on mercy, and cap death squads now will remove petals for a nominal fee. Dan man, doc snake thing, edibles. Have you notified the FBI about this? I'm serious. Shit like this needs to be reported. Evil Minion, don't forget to spray and neuter your furry with a rusty butcher knife. Common, common, cleanse it with fire. Joriel0401, thank you for picking this or through this for us. Jim, Paranormal Hunter, uh, thank you. Uh, dread the day's music. The time you put into this uh, to make this cohesive is amiable. I found a thing in search Yahoo Query SRC toggle to pin pink set adult why so many kids i i don't know i i don't think i've used yahoo for a search function in fucking eight years <laughs> like I, I don't know what to tell you I, I'm, I'm not very familiar with yahoo uh untazarit uh everyone in chat press g to gas Tim Riggs, these people are the kind of people that burning at the stake is intended to correct. Live public execution, fursuit and all, sick fucks. Warrix, would it be moral? Okay, would it be immoral to blood eagle furries? Uh, well, I'm impressed that you pulled that one out of the book. Uh, no, I don't think it would be immoral. It would be entertaining though. A glow more, a, a glow marrow, neuter all furries. Nathaniel Esposito. Can't listen to this. Actually getting angry. Might watch the archive some other time, but this much rage is bad for your health. Fliskit. Kuro is big and Devor Got art from me a while ago. So apparently our Kuro uh, involved in all this is also in Devor, which, uh, you know, what, of all the shit that's going on, that seems the least, the least problematic, doesn't it? Richard Pelmore. Thank you for exposing these awful people. Xenophag Uprising. How do you get all these degenerates locked up forever? Mr. VG Master, would you consider streaming on Plexstorm for the uncensored degeneracy? I don't even think Plexstorm would allow it. Um, it, it we're, I mean, we're talking about people raping animals to death and cutting the heads off puppy. I don't. I, I really don't think Plexstorm would even allow it. Yosemite Sam, Jim, it's not easy listening to all this abuse. Ryan McCarthy, we need a wall so we can throw these furries over it. Paranormal Hunter, uh, thank you again. Dances with Metroids. Is it wrong to want vigilante justice for this shit? Uh, note should make your blood boil. AK-47 to your face. Making sure I'm not sub to any furry YouTubers is a matter of principle. 6-8 toast. Kill them all. Maria Rodriguez. How are you personally coping with all this? I love listening to you, but it's getting difficult. Uh, well, yeah, there's fucked up shit out there. Uh, fucked up shit in real life. Fucked up shit in the internet. You can't really turn away from it. I mean, it's there. So, I guess better to address it and 
you know, acknowledge that it's fucking real. Uh, Brappy Hour, would SJWs defend these degenerates? I I don't know, to be honest with you. Um, th- this seems so fucking absurdly cartoonishly evil that I think they'd even uh, they they would struggle to defend it. Trace XL, I'd love to bind these degenerates and toss them into a cage with feral dogs and let them rip into the sickos. Game of Thrones style. Seriously disgusting what they're doing and talking about. Aaron Alexander, sodomize these people. A cactus wrapped in razor wire with Tabasco sauce lube. From Federation, or Federation, Federation King. Be strong, Jim. Hopefully my strength will return my ability to speak properly and pronounce your fucking name. Federation King 1. There we go. Chambers of my heart, Jim, you need a damn drink. Is your soul still living? It's hanging in there. Chase Weiler, there's obviously a connection between homosexuality and pedophilia. Do you think homosexuality leads to pedophilia or the other way around? I, I you know, there was some interesting research. Uh, I remember reading about, not not related to that, but in regards to homosexuality, something about it being epigenetic in, in nature. I, I don't know. I don't My, my brain is fried, man. Um... I, I just I think we've reached a point as a society uh-huh gamers rise up there we go as a society where we're too permissive we've become too tolerant this happens it's cyclical if you read through history a society raises up through hard times it's built by people that struggle and then the fruits of their labor are enjoyed uh, by the next couple of generations who become just lethargic and lazy and you know self-gratifying and self-obsessed and narcissistic and vainglorious you know they don't respect what the struggle was to get them there and it's a it's a sign it's a symptom of what uh, different nations and communities go through and just society as a whole has reached a point where things have become too permissive and too tolerant we're we're too busy trying to be inclusive for everything and there's a reason you shouldn't be there there are things that are just morally repugnant and you shouldn't open the door to them and this would be one of those uh yeah and 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 rant the commandant hey jim the racial hygiene program cleaned 15,000 sexual deviants from 1933 to 45 their stack skulls equal the height of mount hood in oregon well, the more you know, put a little, put a little PBS uh, shooting star over that. Don uh, Don Alfonso, I hope you called the cops. Or, or HTRTU, this cannot continue. Christ seven two four, I too have a crush fetish, crushing these furries with tanks. Internet tab F for Jim. Joni Baloney, <laughs> Joni Baloney, are you related to Olivia from Bolivia? Your, your unique gift of covering important tactics like Gigi has woken up huge populace of people and woke the world up to leftist infiltration and the dangers of communism. You might think it's a joke, but you got Trump elected and saved the West. That's impossible, Joni. I don't own a fancy suit. And I think we've all come to the conclusion that without a fancy suit, you're not getting much done. Gaz, remember the days when Goatsy and Lemon Party were the worst thing ever? Yes, I do. Constantine's commentary, hunt furries like animals, they pretend to be degenerate fucks. The Joe Blow Show, would be a terrible shame if an autist decided to shoot up a furry convention. That would make me feel the sads. J. May, Jim, I can't handle the stream, I have to leave. Thanks for your work in exposing these monsters. The Dacian Chronologue, resend contacts please, a lot of new folks here. Uh, yeah, I'll shoot it out once more, just at the tail end, uh, for everybody. Let me have a sip here. I fucking need a track to go over this shit. Uh, again, one final summation. A social media service used by a group of furries had a leak that happened. Uh, the information was conversations that took place between them. Uh, a lot of that conversation revolved around the torture and rape of animals uh, and the molestation and production of child pornography um, and even child slavery, which was really weird. And it involved about eight or nine people, about 20 kind of related. And that happened three weeks ago. And the initial denial was that it was all fake and it was the, the actions of hackers. And then it came out that the hacker, informa- you know, the evidence they had that it was hackers was faked. And that, in, in fact, some of it was real. So they already walked it back. And that's what this is related to. It's the zoo sadist pseudonym 
leaks. From Fuck You Google, painfully sunset these demonic degenerates. Bullet 25, I am not for religious at all, but all these motherfuckers need to find Jesus. Uh, amen, brother. Dumb plays for you. Jim, here's some money for a drink on me. You need a lot. P- or Pyraga, these idiots are the tiniest minority of furs. The, or these idiots like this in any group you can. The fandom ousts these just as much as any non-fur group. I disagree. I disagree because when Josh has been on stream talking about uh, this, because he has on the kill stream, uh, he mentioned quite a few furry websites and conventions that are run by people that do heinous shit like this. And it's kind of already known, but nobody does anything about it. People fucking teenagers, people fucking animals, and just getting into really degenerate shit. Uh, Sweet forward, gas is too good for these evil beings. Burning alive and scattering the ashes is a better fit. Wood crate 67, my hat's off to you for being able to research this stuff and then do a stream on it. This stuff is awful. Dick Tuno, I've heard enough. These people need to be not so peacefully sunsetted. Spurgmeister fascism now. Benjamin Beltrain, these degenerates deserve to be beaten senseless. Sorry, my voice is going out a little. Dermonic Warrior, friendly reminder, these people have names and addresses. Cameron Erland, the more I listen to this, the more I understand why God, uh, the God of the Old Testament flooded the world and massacred cities. Gas chambers are <laughs> gas chambers are kind. They need the Old Testament treatment. If you ever wondered why Yahweh doesn't speak to anybody anymore, welcome to the internet. Toward Marcus Bickerlin Jacobson, there are uh, they are level 21 and 22 on the scale of evil. Joni Baloney again. It's true, faggot. You're our com- <laughs> you're our Camina, bro. HTRTU, the phrase he devised a way to put ants inside a dog and watch it suffer is now in my vocabulary. 2018 just keeps on giving. Sweets Parade, of all the insanity you've covered, this is top tier horrifying. This is one where I have to ask, why do you do this to yourself? Well, I mean, it is fucked up, but I, I've covered something somewhat similar with Nick Bates. Uh, Nick Bates was a guy that molested his uh, sister, stepsister, I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, but he was a, is it corpophiliac? He was into shit. And um, shit play. And that's, he did horrible things with her. He's in prison now. But I've covered him before. Uh, Booty Man has to be fake. Way too dark. Lindsay B, go get him. Burn them down. Uh, as Booty Man, yeah, I, 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 I can understand where you're coming from. Has to be fake. But Kiro already admitted that he talks to these people and that some of it is real. And that's after he said all of it was fake. So if it was all fake, you see what I'm saying? Like, he, he's already opened the door to it being real. He can't take that back now. Uh, fuck you, Google. I'm going to go hug my dog now. I have to go. Andrew Voorhees. Uh, do you think God stays in heaven because he fears what he created? Uh, more, more than likely, yes. Finchy Bird. Hitler wanted to protect animals. Just remember that. Musical Lumberjack. I have seen so much shit on the internet. Nothing honestly phases me. However, someone who's went through all the leaks, even my stomach turned. These people deserve nothing less than death. Ninja Work 111, any juror would acquit you for that. Debt Free Solution, this is vile. Vladimir M. Ivanik, doxing rules don't apply. Where are these bastards? Thoughtful, well, yeah, again, if you want more information on this, on the leaks, on the people involved, on what's going on as they sort through it and try to piece all this shit together. The website is Kiwi Farms. The sub form is called Animal Control. And uh, make sure you got a strong stomach when you jump in there. Thoughtful opinions. For your own sanity, Jim, you should probably stop. This is legitimately horrifying. At Fox Prime, wait, that was Cepheus. I don't know if it's legit, but he's supposedly involved in some kind of furry HIV spreading ring. Really? Really? It couldn't get worse, could it? I'm going to reread that. I just want to make sure. Wait, that was Cepheus. I don't know if it's legit, but he was supposedly involved in some kind of furry HIV spreading ring. Why not? Why not add AIDS into the mix? Tiny telephone poles. Wolf is the sickest motherfucker in all the logs. He literally used dog's dismembered asshole as a cock ring. Ryan Ferrer. Uh, Washington produces serial killers, Oregon produces snakes, and British Columbia is run by socialists or commies. Can we just have that 10 on the Richter scale earthquake right now and end it now? Frank Loturco, oh naughty, that made me physically cringe, Jesus Christ. Joni Baloney, 
Jim, you need to launch your soldiers from outer heaven. Quit smoking. We need you as live as long as possible to uncuck the internet. Random asshole. Hey, Jim, have you seen the greatest story never told? Uh, I've told this story before. Uh, I've woken up to Jade watching that in the morning. Uh, Jade, <laughs> Jade has watched that entire thing. Indigo White, how do we peacefully sunset them all? Jacob Smith, Doom Gameplay, Palette Cleanser. Uh, that would have been a good choice. You're right. Uh, Mario Carter 13, fuck this man, or fuck this, I'm out. Signed, God. Pufferfish, oh, a Medicare stream. What a better time to eat my hearty meal of chili and cheeseburger sandwiches. Let's hope he doesn't talk about something weird. <laughs> uh, bad news for you, Pufferfish. Uh, from Amitz, I don't blame you for ending the last stream early. This is some truly gruesome shit. Cherry Chernobyl, we're going to need to call in the SS Safety Squad. Chordian, I'm suddenly much, much less insecure about the weird fetishes now in comparison to this dark shit. Mr. Metal, man, these nukes can't come fast enough. Everything's gotta go. Spencer Calios, Doxy's Degenerates. Rally, the right wing death squad. Send in John Wick. You don't know actually let me put his. I'm glad you reminded me of that. I forgot I had this picture. There we go. There's your there's Wick. I sent him in. Wax again, I'm on okay. I'm honestly close to crying hearing all this. Shiva Darling, anyone who draws a sexy animal should get shot. Kel Zendro. Jim, holy shit, how do I find these people? Millennial Black, I have never, ever supported doxing. I thought I would never support doxing. I thought there was no reason to ever go after someone on the internet like that. I want these people doxed now. Okay, no puck. Sig Zeon, together we can purge the degeneracy. Johnny drinks too much. There are no words to describe this. What the fuck? V-A-W-B-C Carry. Jim, I think you may want to turn this over to the feds. This is horrible. Clone Lolly. We should make them all pay Russian, or we should make them all play Russian roulette with all the bullets in the chambers. The Real Bean Dip. Please talk about the Bad Dragon E621 Ink Bunny Owners Admins. Too many furries make excuses for this shit, ignoring how deep it goes in the conventions, forum staff, and the brands that cater to their fandom. Uh, well, you know, I'll say that uh, Josh from Kiwi Farms Null is more knowledgeable on that than I am. Uh, maybe, because I'm doing Skeptic Sunday next week, uh, maybe if he's free, I'll have him on and uh, just talk to him about it on stream if you want if you want somebody to cover that and let him have uh, a chance to talk about it publicly. I'd dedicate like a half an hour, 45 minutes to it before I jump into the skeptic shit. I, I'd have to get a hold of him. I don't know if he'd be willing to do it. Spike start, or Spike start 13, somebody fix me a rope. Shiva darling, the entire fandom is to blame for fostering the atmosphere you've made and allow these degenerates to do this. Kill all furries. Jimbo, crabble snitch. Hashtag call the fur sorry call the herd hashtag paw grom now the jeffersonian i have a six-month-old german shepherd and i unironically just vomited at chopping off its tail and fucking them with their tits Goddamn, these people deserve acute lead poisoning i think uh, most pet owners are sympathetic to that sentiment oh, let me just check that okay uh okay uh knee and weasel furries poisoned our water supply burned our crops and brought the plague onto our houses Random asshole, have you seen the greatest story never told, Jim? And if so, what do you think of it? Uh, again, I, I answered that one already. I have seen parts of it. Uh, Jade was more familiar with it. She could probably give you a better synopsis and opinion of it. Snow Jay, all this degeneracy is making me consider returning to church. The world is beyond reproach. Grab a beer and some jerky with this. Jim, greetings from Switzerland. Gas the furries. Des low volt. Uh, Seaborg8513. As a person who hates PETA, who hates the people having purebred dogs, this shit is so goddamn horrible. I hope these fuckers get arrested, or worse. Light side, I don't usually get upset by things on the internet, I'm usually too apathetic for it, but this deeply upsets me. These people only deserve a slow death. A freezer burn, thank you. Guns down, inhale, Jim, I hope the FBI or something comes to stop them. I hope they get put in prison and never get out alive. I'm just mad listening to this shit. Uh, from Digger John, went to pet my cat to wipe away the rage against these sickos. Taddy Mittens, kill the degenerates. Dewey Donovan, weed Lamoud before stream, instant mistake. New York City, Soul 17, what happened to whacking off to stepmom porn and feeling instant remorse upon ejaculation? All I've got is banana rum. It'll have to suffice. John Maverick, these fuckers deserve to be covered in barbecue sauce and sicked with rabid huskies on them. Stay sane, Jim, and God bless. Lindsay B., you let me know what you need to help these sick f- or help take these sick fuckers down, and I'll get it. I have contacts here in the Mid-South who are ready and willing. 
Chrissy Tokyo. For all the people saying cops should be involved, farmers on Kiwi have been in contact with local authorities. Cheers, Jim. Mechazard. Jesus Christ, Jim. Have a few for your eventual therapy booze fund. Cecil McFly gas the furries. Fandom war now. I think I'm finally starting to get caught up here. Uh, okay, let me just grab a smoke. Uh, did I, I uh, did I lose my place? No. Oh, it refreshed. God damn. All right. Where was it? Uh, sorry. Hey, page refreshed on me. I will find it and restart where I left. Okay, there we are. Tiny telephone poles. I a logged on Wolf so hard I reported him to the FBI when I saw the leaks a while ago. So again, uh, to people bringing this up, um, yeah, uh, different people have contacted law enforcement. Uh, a few people have commented about it now. Uh, McFly Murderface. When are people going to notice the connection between insecure betas and really fucked up behavioral patterns? Cameron Harehell. Uh, Jim, where can we find Snake Thing? The fur fake hunt is on. Again, if you want to follow this taking place, uh, Kiwi Farms in the sub-forum Animal Control. Casson, this stream is pretty eye-opening, and it's nice to see this child animal torment fetish subject get brought out to light, and those responsible for the evil are the reason I hope hell exists. Let's grind RS shekels for the war chest. Hang all the gens. Jeff Sugoski, not going to lie, Jim, I watch your streams and I get a good long laugh out of them uh, for a few hours, but this one is really getting to me. Neon Wessel, this isn't a, a fail fraud scheme. We stole foam. Beaner Brigade, is there a current police investigation into this? I believe so. Toxic, there aren't many things I would call evil. The Nanking Massacre, Richard R or Richard Ramirez, and Lawrence Bittaker are a few. The furries are evil. PBR, Street Gang, no more half measures. Shinku Toner, say the four Fs, free fall for furries. From Najaya, what was that amazing song? Uh, which one? You talking about the middle one that I played during the break? <laughs> I'll, I'll grab you the exact name. Uh, hold on. Let me, let me see if I can find it. Give me one second. I'll give you the exact name of it. It's in limited state, so good luck finding it. Okay, the song you're looking for is called Nazi German Hell or <laughs> Nazi German Hardcore Hell March Version Three by DJ Rhythm Dave. That would be the name of the song that I played midstream. Uh, the other one, the one at the beginning, was Yif and Hell Furfags was the name of the song at the beginning. Purple Oblivion. How would you suggest we deal with people like this? Uh, well, uh, my suggestions probably would border on the illegal, so I'll just keep those opinions to myself. Brainhorn, when doing Deviants, did you ever come across Riona? Uh, I don't believe I did, or at least I'm not remembering it right now. Sergeant S. Laughter, hey Jim, love the stream. If you get doxxed, would that be the end of Medicare? Uh, no, I probably still do videos. Mr. Jones, throw pedo degenerate zoo sadist into wood chippers. Vulcan do Dinoak, crusade against the furries when? John, I just started playing Brigandine for the first time today. Did you ever play Vanguard Bandits? If not, do so immediately. And after you finished uh, Fire Emblem's newest dating sim. Uh, Brigandine is great. And there is a trick to be able to play uh, the Empire, the purple guys, the the, the assholes in the game. Uh, there's like a little cheat code to get to be able to play them right away. Uh, as far as Vanguard Bandits, yes, uh, I have played that. Or no, I'm thinking Vandal Hearts. Is it Van I got, they're all, it's all merging together. Uh, Z115ZT. So like the Fire Ants, huh? Hmm. Just Darty, number one on trending. We're even beating the pig, but in either of the ways, the furries are. Our Spice, this shit makes me want to re uh, reconvert to Christianity, but then I remember it's full of pedos too. There's no escaping uh, the hell on this planet, is there? Nope, you are here forever. Anomalous C, Jim, have you seen the JoJo Part 5 yet? Uh, no, I have not. Satan's puckered asshole, I could never regret hearing the truth. Roan Cato, why haven't you made a vid on Jim Sterling yet? I made... I, I did one better, Roan. Um, I got Jim Sterling to make a video because of a shit post. I made a fake uh, Mario Odyssey review, a screen cap, right, from Metacritic, where basically Sterling, I had Sterling say, 
uh, that the game was the worst Mario since Super Mario Sunshine, and that it was on a weak, underpowered system like the Switch. And then I, I put it out on Twitter, and people flipped their fucking shit. They, they were convinced that Sterling did that. Uh, he had to make a video explaining to them that they're retards and it was a fake screen cap. But it still got him to make the video. It's funny stuff. Uh, Ramal, uh, Ramallah Maifi. Hey, Jim, have you seen the new episode of JoJo? Uh, no, no, I haven't. William Hurt, have you played Senko Ronse, you weeaboo? <laughs> I, cannot, I can't answer that question. Underwater Comics, what do you think of JoJo's Part 5? God damn, a lot of people real interested in JoJo Part 5. Jessica Eustace, as an animal lover and working the animal field care or animal care field, I can't fathom this level of inhumanity. It's literally alien as humans have a biological instinct to protect. And nothing is weaker than animals and children. End it, Jim. Titanium Spike, Satan is truly the prince of the world, and these furries are doubtless his horrible knights. Otaku 77077. Jim, these are the only times I hear you actually getting legit angry. Looking at these subhumans and the shit they do will seriously make you die inside. Take care of yourself, buddy. Exiled Postman, play some Brutal Doom when this is over. It'll make you feel better after having to read this Nightmare Fuel. It's not a bad suggestion, actually. That would be a good palate cleanser. Uh, Clone Lolly again. Jim, I'm a lollicon. How do I, or how do you recommend I commit suicide? Not a pedophile, just a degenerate. Well, I would uh, recommend that uh, if you do commit suicide... You don't do it in a forest where furries are nearby because they will stumble upon your body, chop your tits off, and then use them as cock rings, as we've read today. Brenna Ramos, farm the rice, pay the price, baby. Eddie Jake Sauce Gluskin, the katana is a shitty weapon that bends when clashed with Germanic steel. Posted a gif about this and weebs started posing their in real life katanas. I, I don't, uh, this is a bunch of dashes and an underscore. An inkling from Splatoon could easily kill a space marine. Now we're just getting ridiculous. Nope, you are number one trending right now. Sweetie Squad, or Sque Sweetie Squad gas chamber enthusiast just bought a German shepherd puppy named her Ava Braun. Are we gassing or putting bullets in these generate sick pieces of shit? Sweetie Squad awaiting orders. Well, hopefully you... Uh, uh, <laughs> you named... A, uh, our dog's actually named uh, the same thing. Uh, <laughs> Jade named our dog Ava I'm sure you can guess why Akalos Jim could Hitler Senpai have stopped this the wrong side won World War II didn't it guess them all Jeremiah B did you see Sargon was defending Nazi furries better watch out they could be teaming up to get you was he really or Nazi was he defending this group of furries that would be insane even for him too random to ban these people need to be dragged out of their house and fed to lions. We must secure the existence of our people. <laughs> Let me say that again. We must secure the existence of our people and a future for white children. The Deconian Chronologue, Brian Swords, a.k.a. Banksy. William Martin, bidding two dragon's breath rounds for both pieces. Innocuous remark, while that was a surprise that the degenerate bidding on the gay rat watercolor wanted to remain anonymous. Jesse and Sword Swallowers, Epion Wing, thanks for the furry video, Jim. Never thought I'd use the word necrobestiality outside a joke, but you did it. God help us, you did it. Jacob Balsett, the only innocent fandom is the Bionicle fandom. What's your opinion on Bionicle, Jimbo? Let's not talk about Bionicle, because these people will go hunt it like it's a fucking stalking ground. Let's leave the innocent Bionicle fans to themselves. For our master fear, picky in the brain ruined. Was always drunk. The Inquisition recommends Exterminatus. Clone Lolly, this watercolor shit is killing me. <laughs> Ninja Breadman, he scoured the internet seeking vengeance against the furries who had wronged him. He wore the crown of the Sweetie Squad and those that tasted the bite of his sword named him Mr. Medicker. Aaron Campbell, these paintings are called Biohazard. Kill me, please. Sam McClary, Jim, you lying Israelite. You said you were going to put something to cleanse the palate on. Mr. Derp, Brian Sword's art is an insult to the classic dogs playing poker which is not degenerate. Lord... F <laughs> okay. Lord Fuckington. Donga join furry tribe. Him now call dances with Garo. Him fight Jim in real life. Enlightened Apple fanboy. Well, I'm officially ashamed to be from Pennsylvania. Conspiracy in comics. Pizzagate is real. Pizzagate is real. Hashtag pedogate. Vulcan do Danuk. 
Just think, what are the chances that someone that knows these people sees this? What do their parents and families think of them? Uh, shitty memes. These people deserve to hang in the streets. Day of the rope. When, Jim? Lord Akira, I don't think there's a possibility, or I don't think there's possibly a better angle to work unless they hire a team of attorneys that can disprove gravity, and even then the odds are slim. And we've we're we're getting really close to the end of the super chats. I need to grab one more drink. I, I will read through the rest here. Thanks for everybody that stuck with. Um, I'll put on a little background music. Yeah. Uh, take a couple minute break, and then we'll get back, read the rest, and then close up the stream. So just give me a second. I'll put something on for us to listen to. A little soothing, relaxing music. Let's see what what soothing, relaxing music can I put on? Uh, what do we got? Oh, that was, uh... oh, yeah, you know what? I'll just, I'll put this on. I'll just throw some random music on. That's fine. All right, uh, go grab a drink. Chat, everybody grab a drink. Oh, oh what's happened? And uh, I'll be back to read the rest. Okay, we're back. I'll catch up on the rest of the Super Chats, and we'll close up the stream, uh, and then call it a night. Call it a night. Um, where did I leave off here? Okay, uh, Akira Joko Kurusuru, uh, kill them all, let God sort it out. Callie LeClaire, shout out to Joel, my lovely shit poster boyfriend who says that your stream makes his pee-pee the big pee-pee. Uh, well, thank you, Joel. Uh, Red Zeno, Boomer with Rage, Rocket Insano, the first video, my god, I haven't laughed that hard in a long time. Words hurt, or wads hot. Vigilanteism is underrated, dox them all, no more half measures, absolutely fucking right. Arthur Mercado, I think Brian Swords and these furry queefs need their scrotum sliced off. A Jimbo. Martin Vigrick, flood the FBI with reports regarding this. 
Callie LeClaire, Sunset, The Furries, Jim. Super Kitty, Pogo Dance, Rank, Matt, Sargon, and Crowd, In Order of Intellect. In Order of Intellect? Fuck. Okay, let me, let me think about this. I've got to give this some serious thought. <laughs> uh, tied for third place. There you go, Super Kitty Pogo Dance. I'd say they all tie for third place. Casual Kevin, from Mr. Medicare to Mr. Medicare. Chaos, your God, has there been hard evidence of them actually doing anything, or is this all make-believe? <clears throat> uh, again, feel free to check out the forums and take a look. Uh, Zion, send a skill squad with send a kill squad with Ralph's undercover furry sting op. The Nickerman, these people need to be fed to ravenous animals as karma. Vokendo Duniku, NASA needs to develop faster than life dri or drives now. I want to get as far away from these things as possible. Anyone else up for colonizing the other side of the galaxy? Chandler Larson, that is such a terrible shit that went on. All those paintings, amazing. I wouldn't pay a single dime for them. I'd use them as fire fuel at most. Beans, at what point do we hunt down and kill the degenerates? Mr. Skelly, I missed most of the stream because of work. Have some target shekels. The stuff I did here let me rage, or left me in a rage. Wish me luck on the rest of my shift. Uh, good luck to you. Curtis you. the moment you learn how to use the word these, lol. MJR Schneider, have you seen Frederick Knudsen's video on furries? Uh, no, I actually haven't seen that one yet. But uh, he usually does really good videos, so I'm sure it's good. Rocket and Sano was at uh, New York Comic Con today and saw someone dressed as you. And at the same time, I saw five girls in partial fursuits all aged 14 to 15. Is it too late? I, I don't know what to tell you. Neon Weasel, fursuits don't burn hot enough to melt steel beams. Cal Zandor, time to don some armor and find some new level or some low level mobs. I just wanted to watch anime this morning, but you had to stream, didn't you, Jim? Metal Dragon, has anyone wondered about the fake service dog that brings people to furcons? That's a good question. I don't know. Telset 2480, I'm like 30 minutes behind the stream, but I can't even look at my dog right now. He's 14 weeks old. Knowing what these degenerates do kills me. Solid Snape 84. Most furries are left, are hard left leaning and are trying to chase out anyone that's not hard left while ignoring real problems. No surprise. Sheev Palpatine. Every single furry is now an enemy of the Republic. Breaker. You'll never stop us. Rags the sexy douche will stop your evil plans. David Davidson. Good stream, Jim. I'm going to go hop in the oven to forget all about this. Good day. Curtis you. I'm going to go hug my cat after this and member won't be out. Oh, and my member won't be out. That's more than what it can be said for these fucking weirdos. Clone Lolly. Why don't furries even, or why don't furries ever have humility? I, something missing in their programming. Nope. There's a trending stream about blacks and abortion going on right now. If you want to cleanse your palate. Soma. Just when I think there's a limit to the evil that people will sink to without power, I get proven wrong. Antonio Malpica. Jim, you once said anything goes. So can I get a shill plug for my Indiegogo Detective Dead? I appreciate it. Russian bots backing my campaign, LOL. Well, there you go, Antonio Malcopa. Uh, Indiegogo Detective Dead. Stoneclaw Medroski. Kiro the Zero they thought was a hero turned out to just be a weirdo. Foxes are good, children are better, but dead dogs I've never been wetter. Eddie Jagsos Gluskin. Mein Führer, ich kann nuk zalsen. Das die Slotten, die Fursi Verbluten. Say it in your best German accent. I probably butchered the shit out of it. Nick Thibodeau. Hey, Jim, do you think uh, Shane Dawson is involved with the fur fags? Here's some leaf coin. I know he did a video featuring Kiro, but I don't know if he's involved in them. Uh, it's like a weird, partially knows them kind of thing. Uh, Timmy. When the feels are so real, you take out the steel. Skullhead, wa di uh, dis furries gets is right now degenerate. We needs to get the burners. Light them up and make them do the Bernie dance. Happy October, homies. The Nickerman, Shane Dawson, better help shill, is friends with Kiro the Wolf. What a degenerate. I knew he did a video on him. I don't, if he's friends with him, that's even weirder. Bento Whalen, notice me, senpai, you've been noticed. Ferd Reich, furfags get <laughs> chloroform rags. Tide Vokadvin, uh, Glitch Puppet did nothing wrong. Shout out. Mark Nutt, thank you for the content. I love watching you. Callie LeClaire, I am a victim of the Minnesotan school system. You are a bright light in a black world. Fug and Watt, press B to blow Jim's Venus. 
Based Wiener, press 88 for right wing death squads. Ak <laughs> How am I going to say this? Okchi B. Blowjob. Here's two bucks. Ellie, I want you inside of me. Sean Turner, I have no mouth and I must scream. These furries should be included in the game if it comes back. But the furries get no good ending and it only gets worse. Zephanorius, uh, thanks for your answer. Unfortunately, you've confirmed some suspicions us high school teachers had about elementary standards. Take my money and drink. Meringue bad. Humanity would sink into eternal darkness if uh, it would fall into a dull primitive state were the Jews to win this war. Joseph Goebbels. Exiled Postman. I'll watch if you do a stream where you talk with Lotex about Schmorky. They have some bad blood between them, I heard. Uh, well, I think Schmorky has bad blood between everybody, to be honest with you. Uh, but I think Lotex would have uh, some real some real hot takes on that jet. Colin Brefka. Never knew the shitty education system made Jim an internet nihilist. West and Redwood. When can we have the damn civil war? So tired of these repulsive, amoral, failed abortions. Welcome to die. Here you go, Jim. Go buy a suit with this. I will do. Ferd Reich. Not even do music. I'm sure you know this reference. Guess them all. Eric Sigersall. By all of these furries, we'll get a taste of my shoe. Massive damage gaming. My friend's husband is a detective who investigates child sex crimes. I pass this to them. I doubt it will do much. Can't do more. Boss. Cameron Bottoms. Keep up the good work. <laughs> all this German, you guys. I'm never going to pronounce it. Uberstrom von Fuhrer, Jim. <clears throat> Mad, uh, Mad Madam, 158. It is I, Ja, do, <laughs> it is I, Ja, do your trans Filipino queen. Would love BS on a huge, or on a stream, huge fan. Political Seer, as a change of pace, can you or the chat name a Brotherhood of Steel campaign from, or campaign, <laughs> companion for my campaign? Well, I'll ask chat. As I butcher these fucking super chats chat uh they are looking for a good campaign or com god damn it companion for their campaign give them a good brotherhood of steel cam uh companion there you go I, I can't pronounce that word it's fucking lost to me uh, it just fucking switched on me again uh where are we going here okay we're, we're almost at the end uh where is it random number nine jim when you gaze into the abyss the abyss gazes back don't lose yourself boss Bow wow, this shit is tame. Y'all are soy boys. Lull. Painful buggery. You missed my super chat about furries and HIV. I'll tweet you something messed up. I'm sorry. First, last, get into political power. Mine NSA data. Let the public executions begin. Dead Mach, Jim, are you going to make a video about this? I've already made two videos. Uh, a man and his dog, and I can't remember what the last one was named. The last two videos on my channel. <laughs> Shokobushu, furries better stay away from Sly Cooper. Please God. True American Hero 1, these guys are going to form a furry prison gang. Galatian, if you're about to die, will you let us know? Well, <laughs> probably not. I'd be in the process of dying. Wyatt Piley, Jim, this is the kind of stuff that creates Nazis. P squared, Jim, where do furries go when they die? Tell me now. Uh, they go into a, a dark kennel for all eternity, where they're poked with a stick forever and ever. Reese Hummel, if there's ever a fourth Reich, can we please genocide the furries first, then the weeaboos? The smart one. Hey, bro, the thing you posted about the puppy baseball bat made me sick. I couldn't get that image out of my head. Give us a warning next time, please. Mr. GFY, is gift kind got when furries leben? Brainhorn, Riona is basically hunting, killing attractive women. Yuri Matsui, Jim, you want to know about Bad Dragon? I used to work for them and can tell you the shit they used to commonly do and talk about even worse since I lived with one of the owners. Hit me up on Twitter, at WeWasMedicar. Uh, just say that you're the person from the stream. Maybe I'll have you on next week, and you can you can tell everybody about the uh, the inside story of Bad Dragon. That might be entertaining. Uh, Dead Mosh, Jim, will you make a video about this stuff, please? Uh, you need to keep... Uh, okay. You need to keep people who kiss the streams appraised. I've already done two videos. Uh, from Sus. Jim, where in Minnesota are you from? <laughs> I'm from Wisconsin. Guns down in hail. Jim, have you heard of Colin Moriarty? I went to Kiwi, could not find a thread on the shithead. Uh, I'm not ringing any bells. Uh, the Dacian Chronologue, it's Daichian. Well, now I know, don't I? The, it's Daichian Chronologue. I am a fucking idiot. From the Daichian Chronologue, after this episode, name her Anne Frank, or Anna Frank. Massive Damage Gaming, what's the name of the Death Grips remix? Uh, that was a Psychosocial Remix by Sin. S-Y-N. R. Jeffrey 14, 
Why won't you buy a gun knowing these people exist? Oh, I wish it would stop doing that. There we go. I lost my place. Sorry, one second. Okay. RSS Slayer R. Jim, ever had a pre-stream wank? I heard DSP, or I heard from DSP, they're essential to optimizing Patreon numbers. I, I've heard that he uh, is very into that. Yes. See Alex Matois, just tossing some change into the hat. Go buy a pack of smokes, bud. Dead mosh. Uh, Jim, I have a friend who is a furry and he is so angry he's not eating. I still can't understand how they like this bullshit. <laughs> Ninja, Ninja Breadman, you walk eternally through the net, staring or standing against furs where all else fa or all others falter. May your thirst for retribution. <laughs> I've lost my ability to speak at this point. May your thirst for retribution never quench. May the blood on your sword never dry. And may we never need you again. The orange cow at this point, Deviants After Dark, would be a palate cleanser. Rocket and Sano, when will the archive be up? I missed most of this. It'll be up in an hour. Red Matter, why do these Stalinist proponents, faggots, keep acting as if they don't want to give up their produce and land? Have any degree of uh, comparison to fur fags who rape children? Ah, uh, they don't. I played the... Stalin commie thing at the beginning as like a uh, a soft intro for a good laugh. Uh, Chief Palpatine, now witness the firepower of the fully armed and operational furry holocaust. Alaster Tester, I'm finally waking up during a Mr. Medica live stream. Davik Quest, hey Jim, has anyone ever told you that you look like Cobra Commander? Well, thank you for that. Sweet forward, don't lose yourself and become Demon Snake, Jim. And finally from Fez, Imagine hard-boiled criminals, but instead of gangster behavior, they call each other by their fursona and RP Wallen cells. Okay, I've, I've made it through the Super Chats. Uh, again, uh, thank you all for coming out to watch. I will have the archive of this will be up on Hal's channel in about an hour to two hours. If you miss a stream, you can go watch it there. Uh, hopefully you have a, a good rest of your Sunday. If you've got pets, go give them a hug. If you're interested in following up more about this and looking at the leaks and finding out what happens to these people, it's over at Kiwi Farms and their sub forum, Animal Control. Everybody have a, uh, a good weekend and a good work week ahead of you. And uh, I'll see you when I see you.